Yo, what's going on, everybody? How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a great day so far. Glad to have all you guys here. It's good. It's good. What's up, Broly? How you doing? What's up, Austin? Dude, Broly, I, you want to talk about being on time, dude? One minute before the live stream's supposed to start, dude. Literally one minute before. What timing. Hope everyone's doing amazing today, guys. Good to see everybody. What's up, Joshy? How you doing? We're going to be checking out the uh, Into the Light live stream. It's going to be happening here in about a minute. So we're going to watch this on stream. Hopefully everything sounds good. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll try to... Um, I will. Uh, I can adjust volume and stuff if it needs to sound better or what, what have you. Um, sorry, I do want to say sorry quickly before the live stream starts. Sorry for the lack of streams over the weekend, guys. I took a really nasty shot to the foot. Um... Uh, come, uh, what's it called? Come, uh, Sunday night was our first, uh, hockey game for the season. And I blocked a shot off the side of my foot and, uh, I couldn't walk on it. So I, I, I was really just like resting the last like day or so. Uh, I'm going to get an x-ray on it hopefully Thursday or something. So we'll see how it's looking once, uh, once I get it x-rayed and stuff. Um, but I am able to put a little bit more pressure on it today. I couldn't walk on it after the game or like for the first 24 hours. I can at least put a little bit more pressure on it now. But uh, yeah, I was it was just so painful. I got like an hour of sleep Saturday or sorry, Monday. So I like I was uh, I wasn't able to really stream too much, but um, feeling a little bit better now. No more pain, at least at the moment, hoping nothing's broken, uh, but I'll get that X-ray in soon. So appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. Looking forward to watching this live stream I hope and it's a lot of fun I don't know if their audios all right hello oh, there we everyone go. and welcome here to beautiful Bungie appreciate everyone Bungie hanging out that we'll be watching the live stream and then we'll jump into everything uh, d2 Andy, related and I'm gonna be your host today and today we have the distinct opportunity to go ahead and show off some brand new stuff coming in destiny 2. what's good Mark in how's it going what's up Pokemon what's up Nihilus thank you so much for 36 months Rook I appreciate right it thank you thank you good to see you destiny development team hope you're doing well we'll go ahead and introduce you right away starting directly to my left Mr. Tom Farnsworth. what's good Carmen if I need to turn anything up chat let me know or turn something down coffee yeah breakfast on the way here I'm a little ready to go yeah to share uh all the great work the team has done yeah uh, the, the past many months and uh just just for context about me yeah i'm the uh the creative lead on into the light and i'll be Big here three years i know i can't believe it thank you so much for three years dude being a member that course, is an extremely like, long time thank you so so much huge hype in chat for rook as well great also had coffee Nice on the highway <laughs> while right. screaming at passing cars. Quite so. a drive in as well. And for yeah. the folks Turn up a little bit, okay. you, as well as we've had the opportunity to, to, to learn about you over the past couple of days, uh, who are you and what do you do here at Bungie? I am a senior narrative designer, which means if you hear a character say it or if you read it on screen, one of us typed it into a tiny little box Exciting. at some point months before. Hanging out with Excel lots these days? A absolutely. There it is, tiny yeah. words, tiny boxes. That's me. <laughs> it's an important tool, obviously. Absolutely. And of course, last but yes, not Kermit, least, one exactly. of the most deadly I've ever seen to rock the thumbsticks, especially in these past couple days, the one and only Mr. Noah Lee, activity designer here on Destiny 2. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Noah Lee. I'm an activity designer on Destiny 2 Into the Light. And I have the distinct pleasure great. of introducing us to Onslaught so we can see all the really cool things that we have in store. I'm a longtime player. I've been playing since Destiny 1. And as a player turned dev, I'm Nice, excited. night. Let's go. It started. It just started. Hand. Just started. I'm just so excited to see what's Awesome. Going. Well, hey, welcome. You guys, thank you so much for taking time to join us. Yo, and Nihilus with the three months. I haven't even had a membership for the past three months. You might have been one of the people that got got gifted the other day. Onslaught, which is a but thank you so much for the three months. I really, really appreciate that. That's super kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Those of you out there that are yeah, it just started. Nor had a chance to go ahead and see what we've been posting the last week. Uh, we went ahead and released some key art last week that is now up on screen. You can see here. Uh, there's a lot going on here. So let's it's go ahead so and beautiful. Start. I love that. Tell us a little bit about what Onslaught is. Yeah, so Onslaught is a new uh, three-player activity that, that that's the kind of the core of an Light. It's a uh, it's available to all players. Yeah. And you can kind of see in this this key art, like this is a kind of aspirational view of what Onslaught is in game. Yeah, it's a it's a new uh, wave defense uh, activity. Uh, it, it, it takes inspiration from a, you know a lot of modes we, we we've looked at like in other games and our games. Yeah, through, throughout our, our kind of history, and you can see here you're you're in the last city. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm really excited that, that our players are going to be able to like the guardians are going to be able to hop into this space and you know defend the last city and you know eventually take the fight. Uh, to the witnesses' forces here, and you can yeah. you can kind of see uh, like you know you got our three guardians, 
that they're kind of ringed in defenses. Yeah. You also got like the pyramids in the sky. That's right, yeah. And there's even some like kind of pyramid terraforming going on in the background in there. In the city itself too, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, and they are at our doorstep. I was about to say, say, I didn't even realize the pyramids were in the talk sky. Later. Talk about that later, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, you know, also too, Jerome, we are, this is, you know, not the first time obviously we've ever had to go ahead and defend ourselves on our own turf, but never quite like this before. Our heels are dug in, we're in the last city right now. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on here? Absolutely, so for the past several seasons, the forces of the witness have been closing their vice grip mm -hmm. around the soul system. The witness is inside the traveler doing nefarious deeds, enacting the final shape. Right. Time is on its side. Yeah. We have worked with uh, ancient magics, esoteric rituals, yeah. bargaining with uh, our old foes in order to send someone through the portal and uh, establish a bridge, and we chose Crow. Yeah. Now, until he makes contact with us, we are back at home sharpening our knives. Yeah. Now, the witness, of course, will do everything that it can to keep us on this side of the portal. Understand. Which means unleashing every bit of its resources, every uh, part of its power against us to keep us pinned yeah. in the last city. Um, so this is about breaking out. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, and, esoteric. Uh, yeah. Discovering new it's power, yeah. right? Sharpening ourselves, yeah. finalizing our builds, and getting some new toys so that we can face down the witness. That's right. And we're also getting some help from a tried and true sharpener of guardians as well. Shax is going to be helping us out as well, right? Absolutely. Ooh, Shax. Where some see calamity, Shax sees opportunity. Yeah. And he is going to be opening up his arsenal for us to uh, enjoy. I think we'll hear about that next week, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yep. uh, yeah, he'll be your vendor, and uh, I'm really excited for players to hear from him. Awesome. As someone who spends a lot of time in the Crucible, it's always good to spend more time with Shax. Inspiration. I'm about to say, Broly, don't Absolutely. they look so cool uh, in the background? Yeah, honestly. That's, that's right the best here. Part of them. This looks this so sick. Look at the Nighthawk helmet. It looks great. Everyone. Never go wrong. May it, yeah. may it be a hint to us all. Uh, and, of course, no, there's a lot also, too, going on here. I see turrets. I see other activity defenses. Uh, obviously, we're going to jump into some gameplay here, but before Ooh, we do, can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to see when we dive in to play some Onslaught here live in just a bit? Yeah, of course. Yes. So now let's really remember it. Yes. Cool about Onslaught compared to a lot of our activities in Destiny is, like Tom said, it's not an offensive; it's a defensive. Our goal is to defend the ADU or advanced yeah. defense units. Yeah, always good seeing gameplay. Our defenses like turrets, trip wires, decoys, and the main. Thank pretty much twenty likes on day stream as well, everybody. I appreciate all love. I hope everyone's having a great here. Tuesday yeah. so far. Thanks for hanging out. Any point, regardless if you're on playlist, normal, or on legend difficulty, your game will end. So yeah. the main goal is to keep your defenses safe build them up, upgrade them, and try to get as far as you can. Yeah, legend difficulty, interesting. Already dropping some hints, I like what I'm hearing. You know, I had to do it. And Obviously. another thing, just really quickly, yeah, is we had a lot of learnings from some of our activities in the seasons, like deep dives and the coil, where we know players like when we escalate difficulty over time. Yeah. But that's a key feature of Onslaught. You go Ooh, from interesting. One to wave 50, each one, each 10, escalating in difficulty as we're gonna see in gameplay. And that serves a really cool opportunity for players to test their builds yeah. and, you know, the, the GM defense, please. That we're fighting against are the whetstone by which we are sharpening ourselves. Excellent. Yes, build crafters, you're on notice. Be prepared for what's to come. All right. Well, I say there's no time like the present. We are seeing a lot of requests in chat for gameplay. I think we can go ahead and dive on. Ooh, in. let's get some uh, gameplay oh, chat. Let's you know, do it. Oh man, this is great. To your throne world briefly to go ahead and kick things off here. My tithes. Obviously, wow. yeah. We got to get some tithes for the man himself. Uh, in the meantime, really quickly. Do you guys see the whisper of the worm in the background too? Activity. That's so sick. We're going to kick things off in a very different way. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to see when we go ahead and start things off? Yeah. You're going to see it in the gameplay here in just a second, but uh, Onslaught is about kind of establishing a defensive. I hope what like I saw in the pictures of returning weapons are what I think they are. Kind of, yes, I hope so too. Space back from the witness, certainly, and we're going to see it in Midtown here in a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, so players, you know, start off with you and two other maybe friends you you've, you've found uh, uh, that, that, that that you you play with all the time, or maybe yeah. you match make you in with, and uh, you're going to uh, work, push forwards with Shax's Red Jacks. Yeah. You're going to see here. You'll uh, establish a defensive area, you'll deploy the advanced defense unit, and you'll start placing defenses. Yeah. As Noah said, there's uh, there's turrets, there's trip mines, there's yeah. decoys. decoys. The decoys is our favorite little sweepy That's bot. That's right, yep. And, uh, Back to help once again. And you can you can upgrade those too. And turn like up a tiny bit more? Yeah, sure. works is you defeat enemies to collect scrap, yeah. which is our, 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 our currency, mm -hmm. and then you can spend that to deploy these defenses. And you're gonna have to be kind of selective. Like each of these defensive locations can, can move around throughout the activity. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, and oh, here we go. We oh, got, awesome. We already got some already. here. Yes. So we're over here trying to create a foothold for our. Oh, ADU, look at this. Uh, supported by Shax's lovely. Here's the gameplay chat. Oh, First, look at into the light gameplay. Okay. And as soon as we've cleared out the elixir that are here, or the fallen, uh, our ADU's here. As we see, we got. Dude, that looks cool. And this begins 
our first really perfect awesome part yeah no problem activity which is our purchase phase killing enemies will grant you scrap like we see in the top left and we have 30 seconds to pick one of a suite of upgrades we have trip wires that you can buy for a thousand uh decoy which is our lovely sweeper bot here and turrets i know people are very curious about turrets i'm just gonna buy this first it kind of reminds me of like balloon have, td uh, defense if you guys ever play that game where like you can like set up defenses to like try to stop there with me helping fill out the fire team things and uh they're building their defenses. It's always best to have some solid teammates, and also to you can put uh, down like cannons or whatever, and, and like uh, other stuff. Go ahead and, and just go ahead and observe. Yeah, pull, yeah, balloon tower. That's what it is. Okay. We, uh, we're gonna have plenty of time to dig through those inventory screens, but in the meantime, yeah, chat is uh, connecting some dots with the things they may have seen in the key art, uh, but also too. So, Jerome, we're here obviously going ahead and doing this for a reason, right? The ADU is here for a purpose. Can you help us understand a little bit about the role that plays in the defense that we're mounting? Against yeah, midnight coup, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, when all of the guardians and their allies, I feel like Heart of Innermost Light would be really fun to use here. Mm -hmm. Earth will be essentially undefended. Yeah. So it's important that we establish solid defenses now um, and claw back as much territory as we can in advance. You played that game? Yeah. I, I, I played that game a lot growing up. So. Out, uh, Ooh, new hungry. I know we're not going to be able to look at it. Did you guys see that? And, uh, we'll see the weapons next week, oh, yeah. but uh, we've got some beautiful new lore. New version yeah, of hungry, it looked like. And so any of those lore hounds, make yeah. sure you check out those tabs. Yeah, it's, really uh, nice. we, we will be only uh, maybe looking at whatever happens to show up on the stream today, but yes, this is the, the brave arsenal, as it will be known. Players will get a chance to go ahead and be more intrinsically involved with this. Yeah, yeah balloon tower defense is like, we're, we're, with, when weeks, them sh but, uh, with them showing yeah, the like things you can purchase here when you get enough like scraps or whatever, that's exactly what this reminded me of. You will have lots of information to learn over the next coming weeks. So yeah, I want to kind of get started on kind of what players have been seeing since we've been talking about plea yeah, yeah. as a whole. Uh, as we're able to see, like, the ADU has a health over its head right here, and we have enemies in waves coming to try to defeat it. If you've been paying attention, we have... <laughs> played already, yeah. Targets it looks fun. Bosses ...or elites called Saboteurs, which drop uh, these repair batteries. And for other attempted players, we can see that there are champions involved. So, you know, bring your champion weapons. <laughs> make sure that you are... Well, uh, yeah, so it's, it's gonna have like that GM, like it's Nightfall like kind of feel too, with like yeah. the champs and stuff. Demand your immediate attention. Yeah, we know Destiny players like to run and gun, so we try to get you out of the space of the. <laughs> Sweeper bot just standing there. I did. Isn't that great? Objectives. That's sure cool. That, oh yeah, I can explore Midtown and all these other spaces. Uh, when we have the other maps that you yeah. see. Crucible enjoyers know this space pretty well. It'll be a chance for everyone to get Maybe it's an adept version. Out. Also, too, actually, no, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they, they uh, might be bringing back different the versions. The pyramids have been busy in here helping to go ahead and mount this offensive. I'm curious uh, if there's going to be some cutscene that shows, yeah, like, hey, why all down, their, all the, uh... They keep it consistent. Um, but Jerome, uh, this is, these are pyramid Like triangle, ships. like pyramid ships and stuff right here. go ahead and just try and terraform the city, or can you help us learn what's going on here? Well... They don't have to do anything. I yeah. mean, the witness is doing what it wants to do, and if we yeah. don't stop it, then it's <laughs> sweeper over. bot. Yeah. So oh, it's a decoy. That's what it is. To to keep us pinned, um, the witness is inevitable. There's no way we could kill, defeat every one of the witness's soldiers. Right. Uh, there's no way we could, you know, fight them one by one. We'll try. We have to. We have to deal with. I wonder how far you can go with the defenses the in here. Yeah. I wonder if it's only in like this area, so or if you can go like all the way back. And send players away from the ADU is and start from the very back. I wonder like what happens back there. In front of you here in onslaught. But uh, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about the defenses as well? Like we, I think we see some trip mines up already set and ready to go. Yeah, you, um, you can see the, the <laughs> yeah. He's just sweeping mines. up all the all the trash. Them, the colors exactly. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to do more damage and, and sweeper and bots helping some more trip mines charges. More charges uh, yep. And they get more in size. If you upgrade it, you'll go from one trip mine to two, as we see here, which is really nice. Tom can keep going. And then we've also new rep called the, the hype no, oh that's cool in a second oh yeah. this is cool it does yeah uh, well they, 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 when, when you, oh, yeah. you can upgrade those through, through we haven't we've well. never they had something color, in destiny where we've been able to like i don't i at least yeah. i don't uh, remember there ever being something yeah. where you can like and, and then we've also got, like use something like this where you have like a currency and you can like purchase like defenses to have like a wave kind of horde mode i guess the idea here is like each of these defensive locations you're like we're gonna kind of randomly pick yeah defenses for you to deploy you got in nice let's go updates up awesome your limited resources yeah well once the live stream's done chat we'll uh we'll do the update log in and do all our reset stuff okay you're not gonna have all the currency you need right off the thanks for letting me know of course deploy everything and upgrade everything you're gonna have to be like no we want maybe we want this turret maybe oh they, they were, it seems like enemies are coming more from this direction. Maybe we should have these trip mines. Right, yeah. Let's focus on Oh, it's a speed wave, too. Look at that bonus. Direction. Wave completed within the time limit. Some work in a different direction. Yeah. yeah. Something I want to bring up is we actually have a bonus objective going on right now. Yeah, I was just about to say, I saw that in the bottom. Appear, 
uh, in waves, and this one is just to complete the wave within a certain amount of time. <laughs> Sweeper bot if time loss. Yeah. That while you're defending the ADU, you got to make sure that's alive. You'll actually get a reward, which is a heavy ammo crate that will refill your ammo. I forget. Do they say is this match made chat, or do you got to get your own fire team for this? Like larger waves of, of stuff. Like that is definitely something you're going to be trying to get. Yeah. And that kind of ties into the team coordination you can do. Like if you have a good team in the higher difficulties. It is uh, matchmaking. Okay, great. Thank you. You might need somebody to go out and do the augments and somebody to go out and do the critical objectives. <laughs> if we get some Mithrax yeah. out, that'd be great. Yeah. So just to make sure 2,000 well, scrap Mithrax spawns in. It moves around the map. So as Noah said earlier, there's 50 waves in yeah. our, our, our challenge version. When's this coming again? Okay. Uh, uh, this is so this Into Light's dropping April 9th, so a couple weeks from now. Easy, but we're gonna have another. Uh, what's two, cool is we're gonna have another live. Ooh, done, we're in a pyramid ship now. We're gonna have another live stream uh, for another like dev thing like this, developer live stream. Uh, I believe yeah, next like Tuesday and then the Tuesday and, uh, right before uh, or whatever day it is, right before the um, it drops. Okay. And before so April, you'll, before you'll April 9th. ADU, so we have two more developer live streams so coming up. To Not today, but yeah. in the coming weeks. And then you'll build up defenses more and then go fight a boss. Yeah, which is what we're seeing as well right now. Like, we're on board a pyramid ship now, right? Yeah, this is a this is one of my favorite Yeah, this looks I, fun. Where instead of defending the ADU, we take the fight to them. And as you see, we cultivate a spark of light. And it's I'd probably definitely be running down, some... I'd probably be running Polaris Lance. <laughs> and, you know, do Three Polaris Lances. Do the backflip. It's important. If you don't do the backflip, chat's going to be very upset. I can already tell. Very. Got to hit the backflip. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh that was <laughs> tough. So easy, nice job. Because I'm just good. I'm he's too good. He's <laughs> good. He's doing, he's doing pretty well. I, I'm not going to get it. Not going to be also on the first <laughs> set of waves. So. It's, it's going to get a little spicier later. They that's crazy. This is only the first set, chat. Yeah, yeah so that's like what Broly was saying. You guys but, see this right here? Too, there's there's say, some uh, new, like, Shax currency called Hype or, like, some sort of rep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Polaris you know, with Apex. Yeah, that'd be sick. That way you can take care of all the champions. I think that's definitely the place for you. Onslaught, in our experience from playtesting, is really easy to lose track of time and just mm -hmm. kind of keep going. You're oh, like, I bet. You can always be like, you know, Horde mode and wave, wave modes more, like this you know, are cool because it's you're, like, you're, you're constantly like, being engaged by enemies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta, it's not I really a lot of sitting around. around. How do you decide whether to unlock new defenses or upgrade the ones you've already got? So it really is a risk reward thing. As we're seeing, like when you upgrade defenses, they will exponentially increase in price, which means that you have to make a decision. See, like he's already eight minutes like, deep, and like he said, they were only in the beginning. It's so, like this could definitely like draw on for a long time. Lives long enough to be upgraded, or am I just gonna bite the bullet and buy something now that can help me immediately? My I feel like I want to definitely get the turrets up and running. Like, the first few waves. I will not buy anything to like just save up for later and usually my teammates will do something. Yeah. That's where communication comes in. If you just do that. I love how the like, lasers like our trip mines will be very really help you. Fair. As always, keeping the comms crisp is very important, especially to get those higher difficulty. Raise lighter. Oh, that'd yeah, be sick. Kind of the yeah, if they did that, that'd be kind of cool. Right now, but yeah, when we were doing our play test yesterday, things got crazy in a hurry. I hope we get to see uh, some more of the craziness we saw yesterday. Yeah, it's oh, cool. Forward. Shax has a new rep here. There's plenty to be discovered in this. Something I neglected to mention, which we've been doing yeah. this whole time, is uh, the ADU batteries will actually heal it, kind of similar to like Forges in the Black Armory. For that would be cool, Pokemon, if we did have Mythrax popping. Um, and the ADU, the enemies are naturally compelled to come over here and like attack it. They'll shoot it, they'll knife at it. But also, if there's any enemies that stay in the radius of the ADU, you'll see it'll turn red yeah. and damage will start to tick. So that's where you need to throw. Ah, uh, so you really gotta defend it. You'll okay. get scrap for that. But if your ADU's full on health, you'll actually get three times the amount of scrap. So it's in your best interest to try to keep it as healthy as possible. You that's kind of cool. It really gives you an incentive to try to keep it at full health. Especially if you're really pushing for those those later levels in, in like the 40s and 50s, maybe it just behooves you to hold on. For the oh yeah, levels are so let your abilities and weapons do the talking for a little bit. Yeah, Shax is always hype. Oh my god. Oh, he's <laughs> huge. Oh, bro. Look, oh, he's tanky. Yeah, here's one of our Hit a couple apex on them. Demolitionists. We get these huge ultras. Oh, those are cool. They're beeline for the ADU. Yeah. Since we're on the first wave, they're not that difficult, but I promise you wave 40, wave 50, these guys are tanky. Wave 40 they or 50? A lot of attention. Oh, shoot. And, uh, credit and making it look easy. Dude, that's going to be fun. Yeah, like I said, you know, I'm just that guy. He said wave 40 or 50, chat. I wonder how many waves in total there are. If if it ever runs out. I'm not, you know, I'm not treading new ground here. I'm a nice talker by heart. I got my Falcons on. We actually, off screen, we're... That's insane. I mean, because think about it, chat. He's on wave, like, what, 10? He's 10 minutes deep. 
Um, doing that, I love Barry Bloodline. It's a great weapon uh, from you know World of War's Ruin. I love the Catalyst. And, you know, I'm just doing that because we might see some Tormentors. You know, who knows? Shoot. And I like precision. Ten minutes deep that, chat, and he's you know, only on wave ten, but he's like, it really gets crazy uh, when they hit wave forty and fifty. My jealousy for Barry Bloodline. Has Shoot, been growing. one stream for one run of um, well, this new game of precision that you've been getting out of, of Barry Bloodline. Yeah, tormentors. Uh, upset that I haven't just gone ahead and buckled down and got the farming done. Crazy. That thing unlocked, honestly. Yeah, this looks cool though. Like the inside of the being inside the pyramid ship like this. In the pyramid again for the boss. We're taking the fight back to the witnesses' forces. And this brings up a really interesting part. Ooh, of all look, of big boss. The boss phases where instead of having immune shields or immune phases, we have different augmentations that allow you to increase your effectiveness against the boss. So, for example, this one. Oh, that's is nice. Augmentation well. If you stand in these wells and defeat high value targets, you will actually deal increased damage to the boss for the rest of the fight. Ooh, that's, something that's cool. These are meant to be kind of like victory laps. Like you've survived against the ADU. It is time to just you're single mindedly. take. That's really boss. fun. Yeah. Interesting. Also, too, actually, really quickly, Tom. So I know we were just, we touched on there being uh, 10 and 50 wave versions, but um, we got a question in chat from from Tyrkinator. Um, is it random matchmaking? Do you get to bring your own fire team in both? So playlist is random matchmaking, or you can bring your fire team in. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I, I believe the the challenge modes of which there was a normal version and like a, a hard version, which yeah. goes up to GM. Uh, I, I believe that the, the, the normal version is is match made. There's a harder uh, version of this too. Correct on socials, maybe for the second one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think it's match made, but you, I, I right. think everything supports fire team fighting. Cool, awesome. Yeah, yeah obviously. Uh, and honestly, too, it, it never hurts to bring in your own GM crew if you're pushing 50 yeah. waves. I think it's cool, yeah, that they, they, they didn't stick you on just one yeah, side of the map. That's what I was, was curious about. Around. If they throw you in other parts of this map in Midtown. Yeah, honestly. Also, too, actually, while we're kind of on I think it's cool we get to use more than just one was, section. You know, kind of one of the goals, I think, from a design standpoint you were mentioning. Because compared to the other section, this one's a lot more open. So The combat sandbox that Destiny has, sometimes you just want to throw down and just test new builds, go crazy. And this is something that really seems to facilitate that. Possibly the best activity ever. Reminds we, me we a lot of Firefight from Halo. The, we, yeah, it does. It, it, it looks really fun. Uh, I, I, it's it's unique. It's different than something we've had before in Destiny. Walk in, uh, I feel like in terms of like the like setting defenses to try to like help we, uh, you like fight against ads and so we were able to kind of having like these like 50 waves of modes like with score and everything else. I think it's really, it sounds really cool. It looks fun. At home, they may have noticed that behind the scenes, the faction has changed. So when when Jerome mentioned it earlier, Every single one of the, the armies at the, the, the Witnesses' behest is going to go ahead and be a part of this fight, potentially. Or which ones are they, rather? Or if you don't mind me asking, I should say, Jerome. This is your... Favorite. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got Fallen and, uh, and Hive are going to be pressing the last city, but the Taken are definitely... Ooh, uh, Taken in here as well, that's fun. Elsewhere. Yeah. They're sort of the... They're being marshaled for other purposes, which I won't. Uh, other elements of the seasonal mention. story are yet to be revealed. We'll let that obviously uh, uh, uncover let itself. They got some. They got some story. There's plenty for the lore hounds out there to go ahead and discover. Uh, Jerome, when, also too, when you're putting together a story like this, you know, obviously. Dude, the curse they're all like rushing you is going to be such a crazy is. thing. Like, what was kind of some of your inspiration as you kind of looked at this activity and the opportunity it presented to the narrative team? We always start with the. Say balloon TD like defense, the please. The characters, what, <laughs> that was my first thought. How they would see things, how they would react. Act. Certainly. Um, and so that's what made Shax a natural fit for this. It's such a gear focused um, activity. It's so. I can definitely see Shax running ferocious. this for sure. Mm -hmm. We needed a voice that matched that level of intensity. Yeah. And so yeah, that's he was where perfect. We, uh, where we came up with Shax. Yeah, I Shaxx love like seeing the turrets, dude, like oh, try to melt right. everything. Um, it's it, so great when you get later in the rounds and he just kind of makes you feel like you can keep going. <laughs> is this all the stream's going to be? I mean, that's, that's his goal. What, he's my stream or the and he's there bringing developer live stream? Day that he possibly can, so he's been preparing sense. us for this. That's what the yeah, Crucible yeah. is for. No, and that's a great way to look at this. Cru the Crucible is, is, is preparing. Get some clarification you know, on Raids of the Ring back in Midnight Coup. Yeah, we'll see. I wonder what the reward structure is looking like for this game mode. Because if it's a wave game mode and there's like, he's saying there's 40, 50 waves. We got a question from Cozy Spartan. How does this work? Like, like it, if someone leaves, like has to leave in the middle of the run, do you get an extra teammate at like wave like 40, like 40, you know? So next week we're going to be talking about do they just that jump in sure and mark your calendar and tune in then. Uh, today, this is just a taste of Onslaught and kind of a, a Curious. look at what's to come in the brand new Oh, the Bungie stream. Um, I'm not sure. They didn't really say what they're doing in each live stream, so. A lot of scrap already? We're kind of, we're kind of just like, we're, we're along for the ride, essentially. Which have been 
performing pretty well actually i, I, I am I'm curious though so, yeah if you do get to the end of the waves and like let's say your buddy has to go or like your teammate leaves or whatever dc's you know, i wonder if they'll fill it so i feel like at least in the normal mode i know they said the legend one i it might not be matchmaking so if it if it isn't i wonder with the normal mode um how they fill that those uh, defenses to help you and then how that defense. reward structure would those work enemies are powerful and they i'm very curious down your ADU unrelenting because yeah. you did uh, so see on the side you're getting like 10 rep every time you like get to the pyramid ship at least or like beat a wave uh um, are upgradable if i remember correctly mm -hmm. yeah, i'm so, curious cool. uh how far did those go up like what level it'll be three three awesome and uh, as I understand it too, there's a pretty steep progression as they go ahead and continue leveling up. That scrap really ends up being worth it. They become more expensive, but yeah, they also like, it's not like a linear progression. It's more logarithmic. They, yeah. they kind of jump up in power. Yeah, There's my Nekuzern through the hard yeah, difficulty like, activity. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it had that kind of unique like look to it at the end of the barrel and stuff. Um, just yeah, like it looked like that blast furnace or whatever that was in the other Guardian's hand. So it might be. Yeah, true, Broly. I bet he would. He's a big fan of that weapon. Do you repurchase it at level one? Yes, you, have yes, it. you, you have lose that. So that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sheesh. And that's one of the things you have to watch out for with trip mines. You know, like I said, they have charges and they will just, you know, they will go out on their own, but that's why they're so cheap. You're going to have to rebuy them once you run. Oh, them. okay. And also, I think I saw a question in chat. I missed the name, so apologies to whoever asked this. Uh, is scrap individual or is it fire team wide? So it, we've got an interesting way of doing it. So yeah, the, I was curious the fire about team that. earns scrap together, mm -hmm. but you each get to spend individually. Oh, so, so you oh can't cool. Mess up uh, your, your fire team uh, mates by like overspending. You've got your own little yeah. stock, your own little wall. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. First, Everybody uh, can kind of spend, spend where they'd like to. Uh, so you can coordinate if you want, or you could just spend how you see fit to help. Be like, hey, yeah, I got, you know, like I got 2,000 scrap. You know, hey, I'll, I'll spawn yeah, in, too, you know, like in decoy like, or whatever. You know, like I think that's cool. Wave best, wave based that's fun. Games. There we go. Um, when it comes to the upgrades, I imagine, like you were saying, it's pretty logarithmic. Let's just see a master version of this activity. Yeah, it's got to be wicked difficult. Three level one turrets get one level three turret, for example. I love how they have the big bosses here though at the end with the different like mechanics i think it's definitely valuable to do that as yeah. of like what what buff and debuff Absolutely. works yeah. on each other sometimes it might be better to spread out the yeah that's true the damage but like a lot of that's going to vary like, yeah i think polaris would be good and then yeah just because of all the champs yeah i think that with apex would be nice for the overloads like it might be this might be an easy wave of just some thrall yeah. But it could be a bunch of Exploder Shanks, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be great, Pokemon. Yeah, Shanks comes up and it's just like... A wave. Who on Earth would possibly be responsible for that? That'd be great. <laughs> you can blame Noah. I, I, you can blame me for drop pods. You can blame Noah. <laughs> I've done a lot. That Everyone who's spoken to their therapist about couple drop pods, you know, to go ahead and charge that directly to Tom. You can follow him on yeah, it'd be cool to see uh, some right more now, stuff with Mythrax, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Uh, Been a while. Adic or pardon me, uh, Jerome, out of curiosity too, when it comes to kind of the seasonal story and where this fits in. So again, we're digging our heels in, fighting against the witness, just sharpening ourselves. The next step pretty much is just to go ahead and hold out for as long as we can in preparation for the next battle, I'm assuming. Absolutely. Nice. We're, Good back, uh, We're waiting for Crow to essentially build a bridge in concert with uh, Mara, with help from Osiris and others. And uh, so it's really the universe is on Crow's shoulders. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't... Don't let us down, Crow. Better suited yeah. for the task. Yeah. So you can upgrade uh, the turrets too, make them stronger, as well as like summoning them in a short amount of time. Yeah. And I think he deserves an opportunity to to show what he can do. Yeah. And I think he'll come through for us. Still, uh, still has uttered one of my favorite lines. Yeah, we went ahead and chased him into the next, into the into the the astral plane. Well, I just shot at him until he ran away. But your way is better. <laughs> <laughs> He's earned his spot. He's ready That's to go. Great. Obviously. Uh, all right, Noah, where are we at? What are, you, what are we looking at right now? So right now we're looking at one of our waves. I, like I was trying to say earlier, mm -hmm. we actually have a wide diversity of waves. He's up to wave 17. It's been 20 minutes. That's not bad. That it's not just, you know, fighting acolytes and thralls every time. We have different compositions. So this is a wave full of exclusively ogres and cursed thrall. <laughs> cursed thrall are nice because it allows you to chunk the ogres if they're grouped up. Yeah. But at the same time, they're cursed thralls. And as we see, they are just booking it straight toward the ADU. These ogres seem very dedicated to their task out of the gate, honestly. It seems like within a millisecond, they're just lighting up anything they can possibly see. Yeah, I think they're really, they're really dedicated uh, to the witness, and, you know, I think they're also kind of stupid, so they're just, you know, doing what they, what they know. I'm not brave enough to say that to an ogre's face, but I respect <laughs> you for being able to do so. So we're seeing another bonus objective here, actually, which is there are going to be pyramid splinters that spawn, that's a great now where are they i think there's one up behind you Noah. oh oh right here Look at that. oh there he is and then if you keep following it, it kind of leads you away from the space and can't find my this there we go we're able to get 
We're able to get heavy ammo, which I desperately need because my barrel nice. is okay. out of ammo. Uh, that's right, that never hurts. So Definitely always getting heavy right, ammo when crates is good. Those lead you away from the ADU, right? You need to kind of have uh, split your attention in, in two directions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing that we were really wanting to index on. So for these critical, uh, not critical objectives, for these augments, they kind of uh, incentivize players to like leave the ADU and kind of have roles. As we see, we got Splinter Mines and you have guards that are guarding them. We have Clayton and Ashley doing that for me while I defend the ADU. And that kind of means that you have less people defending. Like the, the wave is still coming towards you, but there's things you have to do. And, th and those distractions, which aren't really optional, are uh, kind of what gives you that tension and kind of allows for interesting build crafting decisions. Like that's something I kind of wanted to go into. Consumable on screen? Oh, I must have missed that. Somebody who's kind of seen how our season what did they say it did? develops with things like Strand Titan and Solar over and over. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing if interesting things come out of like Onslaught. You're not trying to stay alive yourself. You're trying to keep this ADU alive. Which is a you know object completely separate from you, so like is stasis going to be more useful? We're seeing uh, Ashley use arc. Uh, she's using arc souls, which have proven to be really useful against the fallen. Like is yeah. risk runner going to be something people want to use? Or Trinity Ghoul or Sunshot? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna forget that happened. That's fine. Yeah. So also to admit, when it comes to the build crafting element, I can probably imagine when you're doing. Am I the only person who reached the three year badge? Like, uh, there are a few who have reached it previously. Across your team, um, across champion but you are one of the few that have. Though, yes. Like there's probably a whole heck of a lot. To actually, make sure you're keeping track. Really of appreciate the three yeah, years, man. It's an extremely long time being a member. I can't thank you enough for all the support. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Squad compositions and different bosses as we're seeing. What the heck is that? So really, like build is king. Like you're still shooting, shooting back. Claw. Of the witness that's sick magic but it's all a matter of like how you use it in each situation like maybe you want something more offensive capture zones have spawned on the field or you know bring in that spark and rift but when you're in the adu you might want something that'll help you hunker down actually too no we're on that subject of augments uh something you mentioned yesterday i thought was pretty cool were boss augments as kind of the levels continued to progress yes can you tell us a little bit about those so reminds me of the boss from that, that strike had, on titan uh capture points spawn in the arena oh we have one right here and what that does is that calls in uh, turrets that will eventually come and help us out if we call both Heal. they'll all activate and that someone drop a rift kind of get some heat off of you yeah and just overall kind of help oh dude it cooked these are level three that tether oh my goodness that tether they're looking really nice and spiffy yeah pop the super and again you were saying level three the fire rate also increases <laughs> yeah, fire nice rate, shot. health and damage increases it's for them. but they cost six thousand scraps so you're gonna need to save up a lot okay yeah i, I missed the consumable on screen i didn't see that i was there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot going on like going from level one can you just roll that leftover shrieker eye into some enemies maybe just for the oh it fell Where'd off it go? Mind. all right oh no oh it, it fell yeah. off <laughs> no 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 <laughs> the void calls well uh, the witness can control is yeah, like sort of controls okay, cool. there's awesome. a lot of power Man, this is going and wild. sending all forces that it has. Uh, yeah, or, I will say, or, uh, especially after yesterday, we learned that Noah is one of the most dangerous forces that are under the witness's control. <laughs> uh, to all the PvP streamers as well, go ahead and challenge him openly on the internet. Hey, I go yeah. flawless, you know, <laughs> check my KD. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I thought you were the gilded one. I, well, I don't want to brag, but as a four times gilded flawless, uh, I mean, I'll let you guys brag. For it seems uh, like Kermit, this activity is mainly for us. I, I think Crow's kind of just on his own when he's building this sort of bridge, I think. You know, all my ribbons bands out there, we know what's I, up. It may no, tie to it in some way, but from what they're okay. saying, it seems it, like it, it's it's, it's kind of just like a thing for us to defend here. To that particular time but it would be cool if it tied in somewhat. Drop the bungee ID, they're saying. Perhaps, I'll leave that up to him. That is his... Oh, I can do it. No, I'll <laughs> do it. Check ones. my Ray report. Check you have a Mythrax figure statue? Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. Uh, let's see here. So new ADU, new location. Yep. Yes. Well, Hasn't pulled out the LMG like yet. So Wonder if it's Hammerhead. You boss, Ooh, you yeah. Will actually change locations and let me just buy something real quick. Maybe. Money. But the, uh, the defenses you pick, like that you placed before in your previous locations, those will still be active. So that means that you I love Hammerhead, man. Such a good LMG. Times, you obviously can't upgrade these since they're not. Oh, it's commemoration. But they will help you in when the way. It's DSC the one. Ah, oh, okay. I got you. Level three turret or level three. That'd be cool though. That will actually help you out, and you'll be able to take aggro from the waves. Like we see, hey, the, the turret right there doing damage to the knights. That it all kind of helps that feeling of feeling like you're. Well, the onslaught Vanguard is the name of the activity. The this city, seems like, to be like the main thing that's coming with into the light in terms of like activity-wise. Uh, really, three man activity. Really oh, he missed. Okay, he got it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> three man activity kind of thing. Um, we get a veto. That's the one that everyone gets. To along with the other, I, I mean, we'll we'll see what else we get. I mean, they, like I said, they have two more live streams, so. 
JR I'm sure there's other that stuff involved, but I think uh, they really want to show off this activity. Yeah, I like this. Now, yeah, you're right. Come on, Marish. There you go. The coil earlier, but, you know, obviously there's a, uh, between the level 10, or pardon me, the 10 wave, eye from IO. And the 50 wave versions, you know, what's the oh, true, yeah. So in, in all the activities, every time... Yeah, I forget what was the one on Titan that was underneath. It was part of, like, Malfeasance quest or something. It was part of, like, that quest. And then that one, the, that one had a, uh, the was a pretty fun boss fight. There's a normal and the hard version of those. And the normal version, you'll get, uh, you get a normal chest all the way until the last wave. You can beat the final wave. Yeah. You'll get double rewards. Oh, okay. And then if you play the, the hard mode, yeah, you get, mm -hmm. you get uh, additional rewards in all the ways. Excellent. Okay. And, oh, okay. And so like, there's some little surprises there too. We might have along the way that, that yeah. uh, at the end as well. Just if you're lucky. Excellent. Yeah. For the ones that are really going to go ahead and try it a few times out, maybe there's an additional variable thrown in there from time to time. Excellent. Yeah. Um, also too, actually, uh, Kurt Jones 29 asks, how do revives work in this activity? Both yeah, I was curious about that too. I was going to so ask. That's actually a great question. Um, as we see now, there is not. Oh my good lord! Like, uh, tormentor, <laughs> tormentor, get him! Get him! <laughs> the tormentor on your doors. I, I can answer that for Noah. No, no, take down the tormentor. Uh, take him out. <laughs> oh, no, he oh, jumped in the like, tethers. In the uh, it, the first two sets, yeah, darkness is off. But when we get to the third set, we yeah. turn darkness on so and extinguish. If you all go down and extinguish, down, the activity's yeah. over. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So Shoot. Oh man. So you really got to be careful with your lives. Yeah, you don't lose any rewards. Every every set you complete, you'll get rewards. Yeah. That's uh, good. But if you're halfway through a set and you fail, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's nice. That's a good way to do the reward yeah, system. Right I like that. Hop right back in with your friends. And yeah. Try again. Which is what I'm gonna do, frankly. Yeah. Honestly, like I, like when triple when wells chat or two wells and an invis hunter. What the into the light was gonna be? I gotta tell you, like just the the. I don't know, the ability to just go That's ahead and keep diving back in. That's pretty cool, though. Builds. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has every single The one name of the consumable was purple build, background and brown shield. Okay. Got you. Oh, look, they got plus and 20 height this time. the exact right time to go ahead and just continue diving in and just, you know, bolster. Got you, got you. Okay. I will, uh, I'll have to go back and look at this later. I'm sure they'll have the VOD, so I'll have to go look for that, though. Thank you. really see how they can thrive in environments just outside. Why does it need to be a Tormentor? Because it's a witness. Find something that really pushes it beyond that standard level that we're used to. The guy for the Thorn quest oh that might have been it yeah i think so right there's yeah. a few combatant factions that deep dive no on titan there, before it got vaulted the mission, a, there was this the, strike the and it had a big um and there's like the, the progression of the way had a big shrieker at the end of it or whatever, whatever the concert things are called i think they're shriekers whatever they're called um they have one of the big eyeballs the void eyeball bosses at the end um, uh, and he had to go, he had to go jump up and like grab an uh, orb and then dunk it to take yeah, on the boss's shield once he got to half health. To um, other people, you just get your own first I'm blanking on the name. It was on Titan. Yeah. But you can both, uh, Southern's song. Like, that's what it is. Southern's song. That's what that okay, one okay, eyeball boss it. reminded me of. It was the, the size wise and of it and stuff. Nice. Very good. All right. That communication is going to be, uh, we wanted to keep it simple and fast. Like we didn't want to have like. We did a lot of work to make sure it was as streamlined as it could be because currency can get complicated if sure. you're not careful about it. In the heat of battle, honestly, yeah, it's like a uh, sweeper yeah, bot, whatever. Yeah. Open their wallet and be like, you got a five? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> can you break three? Then we got any scrap? like <laughs> tens of the scraps <laughs> so I can buy this? <laughs> Just a little bit, it's okay. That's yeah. good. Yeah, go still help you out with that. Triple Ward of Dawn with almost same 14, that's gonna get close. Oh yeah, you're just We're blocking everything from getting into the more. into the bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, are uh, murdering your way through. This is going great. Strand Titans. I'm not sure you just grapple. Really grapple, about, uh, melee, punch, punch like everything. Is like, yeah. this is just gonna be a great that would be a lot of strand orbs. Yeah. And, and just That'll like probably be some pretty cool uh, combinations people are gonna do for this. Things you want to level up, catalyst, like oh man, just like hop in on something chill. Yeah. You'll you'll be able to really like you know tear through a lot of enemies and like. Hear that, everyone? You can leave the the opening gates of Grasp of Avarice. Finally, <laughs> I've ever, and I presume loadout isn't locked. Maybe on the hard mode, but to input that wish. Yeah, and in some waves are really like hard, and other waves like I'll be able to swap things around if you're like, ah, I'm not really wanting to use this. Unload your supers, unload your your ammo, and it feels awesome. Yeah, really like have that peak power fantasy. Navigator, yeah. No, you're getting some some It's like zombies in firefight. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a combination of most. Yeah, it's fun. It looks fun though. I like horde mode, kind of wave modes are. It's this is cool. Oh, oh, I know what they're talking about. I'm telling you. 
I'm that guy. I'll, dr I'll drop the bungee at. I don't care, man. I think so, Kermit, if I Take remember right. Yeah. I believe you, honestly. I envy that About, level of confidence. Yeah, I, if yeah, you got wiped I, at the end. But yeah, this, it's my, interesting. My they'll throw extinguish in here soon. Hide amongst the, the field of other Andes with all of our little hash numbers at the end of our name, honestly. Though if you see the one with the dead man's tail, you, you know that's me for certain. Honestly. Great weapon. One of my favorites, honestly. It's so good. It's so stylish. It's just like my favorite gun in any video game ever, honestly. It's really, really good. Uh, though, then again, we get along pretty darn well. Okay, so we're back on the pyramid ship. Yes, also every two. six waves, actually, you're gonna... Six, thank well, on the Oh, six waves, waves. okay, I was thinking it was five, 16, six waves. 36, you know, et cetera. Okay. You will take the fight to the witness and have a cool little encounter that's, you know, it's, it's, it feels like an action movie. You're, yeah. You and your team get to run down against waves, uh, against waves of combatants, you know, in this hallway, and then there's an invincible warden at the end, and the only way to dispatch him and move on is you have to dunk in the roof. Palette cleanse. Oh, and he pushed me. Little, little breather. Yeah, absolutely. Get all the waves. Also, too, actually, you know, Jerome, from a from a lore standpoint, you know, from a mechanic standpoint, obviously, this helps you know make sure that we're pushing forward in the activity and we've got a, a, an appropriate challenge. But why are the guardians able to go ahead and even head back into the extinguishes? Area? Yeah, if because your whole fire team's wipes like power. wipes like yeah. in GM, and, uh, uh, you go to orbit. The, the, it's sort of permeable. It can go both ways, right? Yeah. Uh, the witnesses' forces are much more. Yeah, it's like Midnight Coup, space, yeah. As we can see, right there in Certainly. the middle of Midtown. From what we saw um, in the tri in the promo art or whatever, it looked like Blast more. Furnace, like Midnight so, Coup. Um, it's a double-edged sword, yeah. so to speak. They opened that door. Now they can't. That's take it right. Back. The yeah. Guardians are going to be in there, emoting and meddling and having a grand old time. <laughs> see, there we go. Show up on the final so waves, yeah. I'm, I'm really curious once he does get to like wave 40, 50, where he said it, it gets quite intense. I'm curious to see what kind of things they're fighting at that point. All right. Oh my lord. Yeah, this is starting to start okay. get spicy out here. All right. Yeah, look. Oh shoot, they're getting they're getting tanked on now. These ads are really picking up. So they still have respawns at this point before wave 30. That. I just know I'm gonna turn a corner and there's, there's gonna be. I feel like one of those trip mines is just gonna right like explode one time on them. See it. Oh. 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 All right. I got uh, alt tab. Oh, alt tab. Alt tab. Okay. All right. Yeah. I was about to say. Oh, I got alt tab again. I was like, wait, what happened? I thought it was on my screen. Yep. Also, too, uh, just for everyone's awareness, too, uh, we're here live in the dev environment. Uh, so what you're seeing is obviously. A oh, there's the currency. Yeah, the trophy of bravery. Um, yeah, okay. Cool. Off of a dev build right now. So I guess you'll be able to take those maybe to shacks or like a version of shacks or something and like spend those and, along yeah, with like his hype currency. Or is uh, my favorite rep. is the like quick draw gunslinger one. Yeah, Hunter, I actually just bought it. I was like, I needed the solar one that kind of does like yeah. the, the twirl around his finger. Oh yeah, I, I was like, I, need I feel that, like so what's so nice is there's not I like I don't see a ton I, of engrams yeah. dropping like I'm while you're fighting things. So uh, that's yeah, good. Like our postmasters aren't going to fill up with like just loot like crazy. Yeah, absolutely never gets old. That was like Ashton Clayner just opened up the secret piles. Yeah, he was showing us everything. That was funny. I mean. They don't really have the, the technically the world world's first, but yeah, yeah, we're the we're the world. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you know, in our hearts. We're no, and it really, that's gonna be, be for players, right? We want yeah, certainly. all of you to be able to hop in this again. Yeah, this is available for all players. Yeah, which is yeah, that's nice, and that's the cool thing, chat. All this is free, so all of us here, at to all of you. Uh, out there, all of our guardians, our community. Yeah. So, yes, thank it's you. not like any anybody's gonna be able to jump in with like their yeah, friends yeah. or something and bring yeah. people together to go do this. You're not gonna be like, oh hey, you gotta have you yeah. know yeah. this DLC or expansion. Easy, obviously, yeah. just another opportunity to, to equip everyone. You know, yeah. obviously. Something I wanted to mention, just to like get a little peek behind the curtain when it comes to uh, our friend Sweeperbot here, is he used to be the best, uh, the best decoy in the game, like better than all his other tiered variants because there was a bug where only the broom. Would take any damage, and as we see, he's really skinny. So no he's shot. Like basically <laughs> nigh untouchable, functionally immortal. That's Sweet crazy. Robot. Oh my god. Oh Sweet man, robot. he's it's huge. Your Horcrux or whatever it is, right? But it's just his broom this time, as it would turn out. We fixed it though. Yeah, it's fair. Hey, you guys, remember that that yeah, dev thing they talked about Trading where they had the giant scream? Um, also, too, out of curiosity, uh, Vader for seven. You think one of these waves is a giant uh, scream? Be, like if you have just two people on your fire team and you want to go in solo, is there a problem? You guys remember that post they put on Twitter where it was like in like the dev room or like with a sandbox room or wherever, wherever they test stuff, and they had like a ginormous scream in there. Could this could this have like? Way 50 be giant screep. I think it's not possible. That's my charge to the community. Can you beat legend? That would solo? be uh, that that would be Bias, something. Like, 
Obviously, that's what Solo means. What's up, Dangerous? How are you Someone's doing? Do it. Yeah, Midnight Coup was a 150 back then. out there watching while on vacation, so don't you dare be working. I think he's Love got me, that Midnight challenge Coup. cut out for himself as well. Hey, I've learned not Have to we learned any new up, updates about Gambit yet? Especially no, like not, not at the moment. Just, just this new activity yeah, called yeah, Onslaught, which is like a wave. It's a wave-based mode with lots yeah, of different I mean, uh, like bosses and it's kind of if you ever played tower um balloon so, tower defense so to um anything, it has like those kind of aspects hand, where yeah of course i'm so excited um, to see, like, what strategies people come up with as we see we have where you can like like here. spend like uh, scraps you and you you can like set defenses to like help to combat some of the enemies when they're trying to rush and trying to take down your uh your like Whatever, what was, whatever the acronym was, it started with an A, whatever it was, um, for this new activity. Do extra damage to them. Oh, jeez, yeah, okay. Uh, not sure, Pokemon, not sure. They really they really haven't said too much about it. Just the only thing that we kind of know is just whatever we saw in the art. You're making it look so good. The promotional image. It's a good gun, especially if you're on other subclasses. It's just free devour, plus the catalyst. You're good, Dangerous. I know. Pretty much on demand by using it. It's also too I love some. I love some Gambit stuff though. Uh, just if I had to pick a champion mod, and I know it doesn't work like that, but I do have to give credit to Anti Barrier because it's every single barrier. It doesn't matter. It's a just gotta move my foot around. Like I said, I taken Vandal goes ahead and puts their shield up. Since I, I took that injury off the foot, I gotta, up. Like streaming like, is kind of weird for me because I can't really. I don't want to put too much pressure on my on my leg. No, no, he fell off. All right, we're, well, we're at least they can just respawn. Moments, I mean, even uh, wave 30, no, they're just allowed to respawn, which is cool. I'm curious if maybe it's wave 40 or 50 where they really get hit with the. I don't back down. I'll leave it to you on Twitter. That's fine. Oh, the revives. I'll get cooked. It's fine. Accidentally yielded it two nights ago. Nice. Peril. We underestimate. So is this the is this the final boss encounter? Yeah, they're they're hitting kind of hard though. You guys can see the ads. Yes, for this particular wave. I think we're on wave 30. Yes, which means we're on our last. Uh, so he's on wave 30, about wave, 37 minutes deep right now in a run. Yeah, a yeah I don't know how. I, I'm bosses. curious to see what the end rewards would be, um, because you're spending a really long time in here. So. So and also too is that that um, that I'm curious. mechanic that does extra damage to the boss. That's just a. Is that like a modifier that kind of gets randomly added? With oh look, there's Hungry. Like one of those augments. Yeah. Look like there was yeah. a triumph there too. So there's no guarantee you're going to get that one necessarily. And look, here's where respawn restricted comes in. So after level after wave 30. Respawn restricted. No. <laughs> Oops. Uh, all right, let's keep running more waves. Also, too, actually, uh, I, I saw a question pop up in chat. Again, I apologize. I missed the name. Twitch chat is moving fast, but thank you to all you guardians for joining us. Uh, is there any kind of a timer present in this activity, or do you just get to dive in and take your time? The only timer is actually present in the purchase phase. We want to keep kind of keep that. Ooh, purchase phase. I, I guess that's yeah, where you spend the currency then. Timer ticking up to see you know how long your session has been. Yo, what's up, Prometheus? How you doing? But, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no timer. Yeah, the mode looks fun. Counting down. Like, yeah, yeah, hammerhead and reclusive. Or something. Yeah. Uh, the, the only real from someone I remember is, is 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 the fire team alive mm -hmm. and is the ADU still standing? Someone was saying that. Someone told me that earlier. ADU is gone. That's it. That's it. Okay. You lose on wave one somehow. That's it. Generally, we want to be pretty. Clear about our favorite conditions. We want to stack. Yeah, a bunch of like, like, oh, you have to. Do That's it. fair. There's like a. Oh, they're in the Eververse ADU. shop. Oh, okay. Like okay. And again, you're only defending its one ADU that kind of will transition. Only the current ADU. It will. It will move with you. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That's perfect. Uh, also, to chat, I see you asking for information on the loot to to show us what weapons are on the way. Tune in next week. We'll have plenty for you. Wow. Oh, okay. And tune in next week on Dragon Ball chat. That's so. Next week we'll get some more stuff. I think on yeah, loot Shax and other things. Is, um, Next week's live stream, too. If you too. go into the lore, Shax is working with um, some folks, some characters from the past. That's right, yeah. And also opening up his private reserve. Interesting. Uh, we like for that? For our use. Yeah. So, so is, this also, is this something Shax has been sitting on for Give a while? Give me exotic sword. Behind the scenes? Well, there have been some, some weapons that... Yeah. Uh, have been frowned upon in the crucible. Sure. Yeah. And uh, but now's the time to bring those bring those out. Yeah. Anything Vanguard that... outlawing stuff is not something we have time for at this point. Exactly. Yeah. And if it uh, if it's dangerous, now's the time to bust it out. All the better. Obviously. You know, yeah. high risk, high reward. That's how I see it. And we, if anything, are facing down our biggest risk in the witness so far, obviously. So making sure that Shax goes ahead and opens those coffers, uh, nothing short of generous, I'll say. Just... Yeah, mountaintop and recluse. Can you imagine? You've improved I'm rocking them since right day one. That good. Uh, that's what, I feel like you you're not that. hearing me. I'm that guy. <laughs> now look, another two currency though. That one, so he got that for beating a wave, but look, see, he's on wave 33. Instead of 10 hype, he's getting now 20. So it does seem to, like, as the difficulty also progresses, it seems your rank and other stuff also does as well. 
And look, here you go. Here's the revive available. So because he reached rate wave 30, there, it, it went from, hey, you just have five seconds quick revive to now, you know, you got a timer. You know, if everybody wipes at this point, there, I think this is where the extinguish comes in, where they would be taken to orbit. So you do have to really start to get careful. I imagine we'll probably more so do the easy modes, but I've got my, my Nightfall crew I'm sure I could dive in here with. Although, honestly, I think at this point he's, he's more loot paid, my dad, than any of us. So I think he'd have no problem diving in here. That's awesome to hear. Is this a third encounter? Yeah, bringing people fun. together. Yeah. OST from Ron. Um. Well, they're on a pyramid ship, so it's some sort of aspect uh, of it. I don't know. I don't know if it is well. the third uh, encounter, uh, like mentioned this one, but is uh, place. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I don't think it is. Though. At 1830, I believe it is. Just a version it of the pyramid ship. The current power. Current power. Cool. Yep. All right, that hasn't changed. Thank you, Nikki Knight. That question as well. Oh, if they Luna's how that would be fun. If they brought back Luna's and NF, that'd be cool. For that. nice. Since those are sunset too. I was on five thousand. See, look, he okay. upgraded it. So spend scrap. So we're gonna have triumphs associated oh, with this mode as well. I wonder if we're gonna have like a seal of some kind. Honestly, that is. I want to say obnoxiously good. It's like it's always like man. Upgrading the turret though sounds really sick. Want to write tweets? No. I do think it's really cool they're showing gameplay. I think that's a fun aspect of this. And again, we're still fighting the hive. We were fighting the fallen earlier. Really gives people that sort of so like idea of like, okay, this is what I can expect. This is what I kind of have to know about or or do, <laughs> and and you can kind of like start to get ready now, kind of as an idea. You're gonna give recluse random perks. Uh, if they were, I'd probably think there would be some sort of origin. Well, maybe a new origin trait. Okay. There's a lot going on. But I think, yeah, it would definitely have random. It probably would have random perks, I would think. Gives people a reason. If it is, you know, if it is out of this pool exclusively, gives people a reason to chase a role they want. That would be my guess. Yo, what's good, Kenroy? Great to see you, man. How are you doing today? Appreciate you hopping in. Hope you're doing well. Perfect activity for Polaris. I think Polaris would be really fun here. Polaris and, like... Lane. For me, uh, like maybe like a blinding that, GL uh, and then like the Apex. Period, that way we can you know, take care of all the champs. And then like any ads that like push us heavy, like we could like hit the blinding GL the on them. The that or I don't know. You gotta watch it. So like when it gets really close like that, I'd be curious to see. Like it would, I would either do that or I would do maybe like an SMG in the primary, like um and like. Uh, submission the, like from Val PvP, yeah. something just they like if they get super close you have something at least like, to attack them I mean like granted we have the turrets here yeah, that could definitely like, help us a lot as well right but here. I feel like yeah. that would probably and be pretty good like, great, let's do it. cuz like right yeah, there boom champ really, hit him a couple times with Polaris boom you're you know he's cooked in here and like that you know we got the great you know fictional wave frames that's a good idea too you could definitely bring one of those in it's not Todd yeah all right, and also too, I'm, I'm getting some word from the traveler in the sky. Uh, no, I hate to break it to you, but we have come to the end of our gameplay segment. You must end of the gameplay? Oh no, I think they're getting towards all the good loot. I, I'll be the first. I was to waiting to see him get to level 40 to you down or wave 40. Your help, honestly, yeah, we'll he got to wave 36 in, in 43 minutes, so yeah. I'm probably saying uh, if you want to go through uh, all the uh, stuff, you're probably looking at a good hour plus. You probably make it faster, maybe if you're like really, really efficient. But yeah, there will be more than that. I was hoping they'd show more. I think I think they're getting close to the loot. Roll. It's good to see you. Got a lot of tithes. You know, I know they said like, they were going to wait to show the loot more uh, next. Uh, so you're going to turn into a hive? Never mind. I don't want. I don't want to attempt to turn into a hive god. That's fine. We'll leave that for your. That's own the next adventures. Expansion. Obviously, that's true. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but no, no. Thank you very much for taking us through that. Uh, uh, which post, Prometheus? Everyone here in Twitch chat. Thank you for joining us. But I know I posted a couple the last out, couple of days. Uh, you know, we obviously this is just kind of the first look. Just bought a Series X. Yo, congratulations, Martin. Well. That's Again, awesome. Reminder, Any advice on a setup for D2 optimization? There's a mode that says you can turn on 120 hertz. It only works for the Crucible, but make sure. Do that in settings under video. Um, uh, Tom, we'll start with you. When onslaught releases, when turn off like motion blur and some of the other things. Well, There's really not a lot of settings on. I really want to see what players do with the D2 for like consoles yeah. compared to like PC, where there's a little bit more I've got mine, things you need to optimize and stuff. <laughs> uh, most of the and, stuff and out the gate's pretty well optimized see, already. On also, it's a great time to get back in and play. It's gonna be a great time to play Destiny. It's gonna be like new activities, tons of yeah, exactly, real exactly. Saving it for the next episode. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be hopping in with you know me and my sons. Yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, it depends on your monitor and what it kind of allows. Gone ahead and helped craft the story to bring this to life. Obviously, to make sure it fits into the yeah. So 30th so waves well. really, uh, really where you got to look out and be careful. Uh, first of all, people getting absolutely hyped 
out of their minds for the final shape. And I want to see what builds arise out of this. It's a kind I am of curious, yeah, to see that. That's yeah. going to be an interesting aspect before, to see what so people come up with. how the uh, players innovate and uh, deal with this new challenge. Oh, my latest yeah, post? I mean, uh, that's the, the narrative team, everyone. She's just making us all look bad. Uh, and of course, Noah, you know, you've, you've helped brick by brick put this together, this brand new activity. Um, you know, someone who's obviously spent a ton of time playing it in addition oh, to Oh, yes, it, yes, you know, I, I do remember it, yes. Wild, yeah, I did. got the chance to play it with your friends. What are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to just I did, I did. getting my reps in, Thank seeing you, how man. far we can I appreciate get that. legend, get extra rewards, have extra difficulty, yeah. just have fun with friends and trying to see, like, like Jerome was saying, like what builds arise, like what cool stories come out of playing things like this. Like we saw, you can have a big tormentor show Yeah, of course, up and, like, Martin. All these different I'll, I can check though later too, and I'll really let you know if there's anything else, but that's really like the biggest the thing day. I remember. Yeah. And I'm really proud of what the team and everyone has done. Like I'm a very small part of a larger team. Teams are way better than heroes. Yeah, and you're here. You know, I love everyone, the whisper of the worm behind him. Great job building onslaught and just curating. That was like up against I'm the so wall. I'm so excited for what's going to show up in these next live streams. Awesome, yeah, and thank you guys all three for being here today to represent the team and help us kind of you know show this first glimpse at into the light to all the players out there. Obviously, it's pretty great to have you guys here, bright and early in the morning. Thank you for having yeah, us. Absolutely. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, I believe that's it from us here at Bungie HQ. As a quick reminder, again, we'll be back next week at the same Bungie time, same yeah, Bungie March 26th so chat is what we got to look out for. In light, including some returning same time, 1 p.m. Weapons, Eastern. Which you may have gotten a glimpse of today. A brand new look at an all new social space as well that you can take your fire team down to, and even more information about upcoming rewards. Before we obviously set it off, I want to again thank our guests here for joining us today, to the entire Destiny development team who behind the scenes right now is working on this content, bringing it to life for all of us. Thank you all so much for your hard work. To Clayton and Ashley, our play testers in the back who went ahead and helped fill out the fire team. Getting some waves. There we go. Thank you very much. To the amazing team of producers who are here putting on the show, thank you all so much. Genuinely, it's amazing to have I need a two hour reward. There's two uh, more live streams coming up. So there's one next week, and then there's one the week after, like the week before Final and Shape. So. Moderators and chat. Or not Final Shape, sorry. Thank before so Into the Light. Time. On April 9th, but so in the meantime, there's there's again, still plenty of time. So they kind of want you to come back to the live streams and stuff if content, you want those emblems. But until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see y'all star side. See you star side. I like the live stream though. I thought they did a very nice job with it. I love that they actually. I wasn't expecting to see gameplay today. I thought it was cool they showed gameplay. What was uh? Oh, it was a three hour reward. Okay. So if you look at, yeah, so you you have to come back and watch like the next couple of streams. I, I don't remember how long this one was. It was an hour. So yeah, so. I mean, what? So an hour. Maybe then, I don't know how long the next two will be. Maybe the next two will be longer. When's the Evelyn Ring stream? I don't know. Uh, it's hard because I, I have. This week's really busy for me, chat. Um, maybe if I can do it this weekend, I'll see. I, I gotta see. Um, Wednesday and Thursday are tough for me. Friday, of course, we're doing Zern Trials. Weekend, I'd probably run some Corruptive GMs, at least one stream. Ah, uh, maybe I can do it this weekend. I, I gotta see, though. I got a couple things that I need to get done, so I will... Uh, I'll let you guys know once we once I have a once I have a chance to look at my times and stuff when I can do the Elden Ring stream. But I definitely will do one. Was the music so good? Ah, oh, it's because it's from Bungie. What's Eververse Day? I haven't logged in yet. We literally just watched this live stream for the last hour and a half or an hour and ten minutes. So I will uh I will pull that up now. We'll go into all our reset stuff. Did they enable the twitch drop? I think they did. I, I had something pop up here. I'll check. Let me uh, let me pull up the be right back screen for a second.
don't want to show all my stuff, but right here, you can see it. It's uh, like I'm 96%, so I'm super close. So this live stream, I think, was still going on. Next week, or when we, they do it again, I'll definitely still have it. But yeah, as you can see, it was pretty, uh, pretty close, though. So that's the end of the live stream. We're going to... Sorry. The update was really quick. The literally the update they had today was 115 megs. So super easy. We're gonna log in right now, chat. We're gonna do our D2 stuff for the weekly reset. And then I believe Easy, myself, and Fury are gonna run a couple GMs if they're still doing it. I might be a little late joining them, but we're supposed we're gonna do that today as well. The gritties in the Eververse store. Oh man. What's the cap for scraps? I don't know if there is one. I think you can just keep using it indefinitely. They didn't really do they didn't really say that there was any um there was any cap for it, so I'm not sure. I don't think there is any. Nah, 30 it was like I was at I'm at 32% for the other emblem. For like the three hour one. I'm gonna have the next one definitely next week though. Did you upgrade to the PC? Uh, I did. I, I We've been on PC for a bit now. These last couple of streams have all been on PC. Um, when did I start doing it? I started doing it like a month or two ago, though. I had it fully up and running, and then we've been doing we've been doing live streams on PC for a little bit now. Not not like super long, but a couple months. Welcome back, Joshi. So yeah, we're going to jump over here on the Warlock today. We'll go through all our weekly reset stuff. Just give me one second to make sure we're all chilling, chat. Just let me make sure this is looking good. And then we'll start it up, okay? I just got to make sure OBS is... Okay, OBS is doing its job. I just need to make sure everything was good before I started it because I didn't I didn't want to start it and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, this, you know, it's like, oh, no, this is not it. Okay. I'm good, Josh. I'm good, man. I'm just healing from a bit of an injury on my ankle right now. My, I got, oh, I, I blocked a slap shot um, on my, on Sunday, on uh, my first hockey game of the new season on Sunday and could, I couldn't walk on it when I got back home and I couldn't walk on it for most of yesterday, but thankfully when I woke up today, I'm able to put a bit more pressure on it, which is nice, like a lot more and the pain's definitely subsided because it was like constant pain, like <laughs> literally Sunday, like what was it? Yeah, Sunday night into Monday morning. I only could sleep like one hour because it was just too painful. But thankfully today and last night, I was able to get more rest. Um, definitely gotta go, gotta go and get an x-ray just to make sure everything's okay. Um, gonna probably try to do that Thursday, so. Uh, hoping nothing's broken. Hopefully I'll just be out for a little bit, you know, rest and stay off of it as long as I can. Hopefully everything's okay. But yeah, that was extremely painful because I couldn't, like, as soon as it happened, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't skate on two feet. And then when I got in the locker room, I just, I couldn't even, I couldn't even skate. Like, I couldn't walk around. I had to just kind of, like, hobble along until I could get back home and then just, like, crawl, like, just to get around because I, I couldn't gonna kind of walk on on my foot at all like no pressure i couldn't even put my toes down on the floor it just it just hurt that bad so um thankfully i'm very grateful that now i'm not in constant pain 
but definitely need to make sure I get checked out because I don't want to I don't want to just like not do anything about it. And then if there is something broken, I hope there isn't. But if there is, uh, I need to be treated for that and not just like, oh, hey, just ice it and leave it up. If I have to get into a cast or some kind of thing, I need to make sure I I get that evaluated. So hoping Thursday everything's all good. Hopefully I'll feel better uh, by then. But yeah, other than that pretty happy the game went great though chat it was the first game of the season i uh i scored five goals five goals one assist we won nine to three um that was a great game i mean i was it was one of my best games i've ever had i got my first ever hat trick um but yeah just it was there was like two minutes left in the game and for whatever reason i decided to block a slap shot and it goes off the out it hits the outside of my ankle and there's no protection there really so get hit off the outside of the ankle and I, I I'm running on adrenaline you know I had a breakaway after I blocked it and I'm running on adrenaline and then I, I get down and and I'm like I yeah I can't skate anymore like it, it was just it was too painful so um yeah hoping I don't have my next game for like a two weeks so I'm hoping thankfully you know we're, we have off right now so hopefully to like the second game of the season once it gets to that point hopefully i'll be like raring to go again because i don't want to <laughs> i definitely don't want to be out very long the season just started so i'm hoping that i'll uh be fully recovered quickly i mean hopefully be able to put weight on it again like fully again soon and uh be able to walk around again and skate and stuff it's cardio a big part of your training uh for hockey it definitely helps um Especially with like your my endurance and stuff, you know, you're you're taking short shifts and playing hockey, but um, they're very demanding shifts normally. Even if it's just a minute and a half, two minutes, doesn't sound like a very long time, but skating wise, it, it's a lot. Uh, it definitely helps a lot with the sport, I would say. Yo, what's good, Cash? Saw my Xbox buying a gaming PC. Oh, that's exciting! Congratulations, dude. Congrats on winning. Hey, thanks. Yeah, it's, it was a great start to the season, honestly. It's really cool. Hope you get better soon. Thank you, thank you. Kind of played through the game, and I guess I could upload the hard play to the room. Yeah, you could do that. That's definitely that would be a good option. I feel like people would want to see that. Sounds painful. Yeah, it wasn't fun. I've never hadn't had a really big hockey injury up to this point. So, uh, yeah, any any time a puck hits off like a part of your body that isn't protected by padding or something it's the it's it's an awful feeling like not being able to sleep much was probably and being in pain was like the worst part but i'm very grateful that i am able to walk around on it. i'm able to at least put pressure on it a little bit i'm trying to stay off of it though until i see the doctor i don't want to i don't want to be walking around on it or trying to because it, it is swollen so i definitely don't want to risk any re-injury or anything like that how was your update i don't know pc is always a little bit less than like xbox or other things Mine was only one 100 megs, but maybe it was because maybe a previous update you hadn't gotten done, possibly. I'm not sure, though. Getting back into it seemed a lot more. I'll be in a lot more streams. Hey, I appreciate it, Joshy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited for the Into the Light stuff come April 9th. Want a gaming PC? The PS4 I use is 11 years old and needs to retire. Oh, gotcha. Hopefully, a uh, make that upgrade at some point. PC is a lot of fun. It's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that, just outside of gaming as well. I can uh, start to actually upload stuff. Um, I mean, the biggest advice I can give if you're trying to actually like work on like uploading and stuff would be like, it all depends on like what you want to create. Like, I can't really like give too much advice on the content for you to create because it all is dependent on what you want to do. If you want to do playthroughs, you want to do guides, you want to do you know top tens you want to do like tips and tricks you want to do funny moments like whatever um it all depends on the content you're looking to create um and experimentation on that is really a big thing too like to experiment on hey what does well what doesn't do well hey what can i improve on and you know biggest thing is just start uploading um you know getting you know the more you upload and, and like you, the more you'll learn and stuff so um I, I would just look at a couple different things you know see what's what's interesting to you see what maybe is doing well for the community or what people are like interested in watching at that time uh because i'm not too too familiar with final fantasy and like what how like what people are interested in watching over there 
um, like what kind of goes on in the game and stuff. So I would look at that. But um, yeah, that's honestly what I would recommend at least. Just kind of looking at a couple different things. What's up, Dusk? How much does it like cost? It's actually free, which is great. Anybody can do it. Mainly tips and tricks. Yeah, so you can look at a couple different things. Maybe see if there's something out there that, you know, hasn't been covered too much or a way that you can put your own spin on it or something. That's always always a good thing to look at, I would say. That's what I would recommend. Thank you guys for almost 30 likes on day stream as well, everybody. I appreciate everyone hanging out today throughout the live stream and uh, us watching the, the content. And then as we're about to get into reset, I really appreciate it. All right, chat. So we have bonus infamy this week, so I might be doing a gambit stream. We'll see if I do one this week. So definitely bonus infamy. If you're needing any more rank, definitely do that. It's also the last week of Guardian Games. So the third and final week of Guardian Games is upon us. It's your final chance to collect new event rewards. Loot up while you can. Remember to claim completed event challenges and spend tickets that you have. I also have Valor Overflowing and Vanguard Overflowing, so I got to make sure I go do that. So we got the Ghostbusters gear in Eververse as well. Who are you going to call? Uh, add Ghostbuster gear to your collection available in the Eververse store right now. That looks super cool. So we got a Sparrow, we got a ship, and we got a uh, Ghost Shell as well. So awesome set right there. I'll make sure to show that today, of course. Very cool. Servers are back up right now. Yeah. So we got Supremacy this week. We got Collision, Showdown, all that good stuff. Uh, Gambit's still gambiting, but we also have uh, the Nightfall is Corrupted this week. So if you guys need that or looking to get some rewards, overload, overcharged rocket, which is great, and uh, surges, and then uh, overload and unstop. So definitely overload rocket, I think, would be really good, especially with these two. Um, very good items to have right there. So we have that. And then Legends tab, we have Presage as the exotic mission. We also have Crota's End with the equal vessels, which I think is the third encounter. I think it's the one with the wizard. Um, so definitely a good one to go snag as well if you need that. Uh, the moon is going to have our, I believe, dungeon this week. Yeah, it's going to be Pit of Heresy for the dungeon. And then the helm, same stuff as we have had for the last little bit, so nothing new there. Uh, Europa, I think DSC is the featured raid this week. So featured raids, DSC, uh, great raid to run if you haven't run it yet. And Pit of Heresy's featured dungeon. Same stuff here, nothing too crazy. Partition backdoor, weekly mission, all that good stuff. Uh, Lost Sector today, guys, is going to be over in Dreaming City. So it's going to be Chamber of Starlight giving exotic chests today, if you guys are missing that. So those are the things there. Remember, no new seasonal challenges this week or anything. But of course, if you still are missing your event challenges or things like that, definitely go snag these this week. Definitely get those worked on and get those complete. We're going to go check the tower for Banshee and Ada, and then we'll show Eververse for you guys as well. Focus activity is currently Nightfalls at the moment. Yeah, I have a lot of overflowing Valor and everything else, so that's good. I definitely got to go claim this. I'll DM you later about some stuff for streaming if that's cool. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, you can, you can DM me about it. I'd be happy to talk with you about that stuff. Sounds good, Cash. Thanks so much for hanging out for a bit today. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and have an awesome day tomorrow as well. All right. Got a full tower instance here. We're going to go check these characters. Man, we got a full, we got a really full tower. So we got all our stuff here for this this week. I'm going to check uh, over here, and I'm also going to snag the... Uh, I'm going to check the weapon over here for Vanguard this week. As well as reclaim my rank, because <laughs> we can reset it, so it's good to get that done now. All right. All right, yeah, it is the sword this week. So Slammer Adept, if you guys don't have this sword... This is a Vortex Frame. This is available this week from the Corrupted, so definitely a very cool one to snag if you guys don't have it. Um, I'll be trying to, I guess, get a normal version and that one, so that's pretty cool. We got that available this week, so definitely work on getting that. I think it's got some pretty cool traits on it as well, so it's a good one to try to go after and get the, hopefully a good roll on. Why can't those rookies in the Crucible be more like you? Shax, I wish I knew, buddy. I'm excited for you for Into the Light, though. Really excited for that. I know you're busy, Guardian, but the Crucible needs 
We'll open up these and I'll check uh, Banshee and then Ada and then we'll show up reverse for this week. Your return Do I need to run the Grandmaster get Slammer? You can run Master and Below to get regular Slammer, but if you want the Adapt, the only way you can get it is from Grandmaster. But the Grandmaster is really easy this week if you run Polaris and like Overload Rocket Launcher in my opinion. You run like three Polarises, you're chilling. Ooh, that's a decent roll. I'll keep that. I don't know, is it, is it better than one I had, though? I don't think I actually have one in here. Um, that's a pretty nice roll, though. You a Warlock main now? No, I'm not. I'm not. As much as people think I am. I still play through all three. I just have most of the stuff ready for weekly reset on this character, though. I need either one more focus package or 72 more medallions. I hope you get the focus package to get that done. Yeah, definitely. If you guys don't have the skimmer finished... Go get that done too this week before it goes away. So you can permanently unlock it. We got Wellspring and No Distractions on the bow. We got Hipfire Grip and Snapshot on the Cartesian. Yes, okay. Wellspring and Tunnel Vision on the Annual Skates. Feeding Frenzy Unrelenting on the Pulse Rifle. It's not bad. And then the Rocket Launcher is Chain Reaction and Steady Hands. Okay. That's craftable though. Yeah, I might run the Titan more soon too. We'll see. Titans are the best. I feel like most people want me to run a Titan. <laughs> I did it. I did enjoy playing it the other day, though, when we were doing all this stuff with, like, Strand. That was pretty fun. We were doing all our little, like, Strand gameplay things. I w it was fun running through that character. Steve Harvey's in our game chat. Let's go. Actually, I was just watching. What was Family Feud on? Family Feud was on a couple nights ago, I remember watching. All right, Until next so time. for eight of this week, we got Gold Leaf Shader. That one's pretty cool. Uh, we got the Bray Innovation, and we have the New Monarchy Allegiance. So all legendary ones, which is kind of cool. And then for Eververse this week, chat, we have Why should I fear stasis? I've seen the our free Bright Dust, so make sure you guys snag that. Here's also the um, a new tool doesn't change uh, the Ghostbusters gear bundle that we just got so here's the what the ghost shell looks like pretty cool i like it and then we also have the ship literally gonna have the ghostbuster ship and i love the trail too it looks so good i probably wouldn't shade it but this is what it looks like if you shade it it does look oh, it does look pretty sick i am afraid this will all fail i was wondering if the lights turn different colors with the rgb Something, that oh, how I know maybe, I'm just, maybe it's just the way I'm rotating it. It does look like it had that on the bottom. This ship looks pretty cool. And then we also have Phantom Vehicle as well. Very nice. Oh, I love the trail it has on it. That's cool. So this is the other vehicle as well. This one shades eh, pretty well, I'd say. I think it shades nicely. You get Synthweave, I get Research Data. For the ship? No, I don't. How would you say it? A win -win. I don't know. I might. We'll see. What's up, Marsh? Hello. I know it's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. It's great to see you. How's it going? Connecting Destiny servers. That was their name? Oh, sheesh. That's funny. Up for grabs. Shaders in here. We got the rivalry white sand as well. It's not bad. Uh, triple bogey. It's kind of cool. Uh, we also got the reigning champion. Let's go. Cool. You got the belt and everything. Nice. Traveler acts. The world changes. And you just threw it on the ground. Okay. <laughs> also got the exercise cycle. Putting in work. I think there's, I think it's supposed to be showing up here. I think for whatever reason, it's not showing up. But definitely getting those gains in. That's good. Get the touchdown dance. Oh, okay. Solid. We also got free throw as well. A little basketball in here. This one would be so sick, too, I think, if they had, like, one of those, like, animated emotes, like an exotic one, where, like, he actually had a basketball in his hands dribbling it, and there was, like, a hoop over here to the side, and you, like, shoot on it. That one would be pretty cool. We also got the tasseled shell here as well, alongside Championship Advantage. This one's pretty cool. Uh, as well as this sparrow. Well, Hockey Sparrow looks cool. Then we got the Ghost Projection, and then for the rest of the shaders, we have Verdant Crown. I like this one. Uh, Rivalry Black Sandwich, we saw on the front page. 
uh, cheat and slate and photo finish, which if you guys don't have this one, photo finish is the RGB shader, which is really, really cool. Uh, it works extremely well if you have the, um, what was it? Was it Ghost of the Deep? I think it was the Ghost of the Deep dungeon. That one was really, really cool. And the gritty and Destiny, yeah, that is great. So yeah, this, this one's really, really great. If you guys don't have the shader, please go pick it up. It's so worth the bright dust. Yeah, so there's not... I don't think there is a cap for it now, Mick. I mean, based off what they were showing, there doesn't put, seem to be a cap. Um, I mean, I guess we'll see if we get some more information on it. But it seemed like you... It, I mean, if you want to save it all, you can. Um, but I, I would try to set some defenses, though. There may be a cap, but it... it I didn't I didn't really see anything where it was like even close to it. Yeah, it seems unlimited for myself. That's what I thought as well. You picking up the trash, saw a guardian with it and a strike? Oh yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, Ghost of the Deep Armor is super sick. If you get that with like photo finish, it looks so awesome. So so awesome. Dad thought the skimmer was broken because I was on top of it. He doesn't know that D2 has a hoverboard now. He stopped playing like a year ago. Oh, man. Yeah, it is kind of interesting, isn't it? It's so different from like all the other sparrows and stuff we had. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, so we got all the stuff there. Chat looks solid. Um, let me see what we got here. So let me see if Easy and those guys are, are doing it right now. I'm not sure if they're already in one. And I'll see if they're raring to go at this point. All right, they're running with Carpy at the moment, so I'm uh, I'm gonna DM them right now and see. Oh, I love love that, love that emblem jar. Oh, that one's sick too. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see. Let me DM them quickly and see if they're raring to go or. Uh, here soon, or if not, I got some missions and stuff we can get done first. Let me see what they're saying. Uh. Just let them know, so we should be chilling. Let me... Okay, so while I'm waiting on them, because I think they're working on a run quickly, let me see where we're at with... I probably should try to do some of the Bright Dust things for Guardian games, because I've been slacking. I feel like Hunters are just going to win it all. I think they won last two weeks, so I think they're probably going to take over. Um, we'll see, though. It's you. Do I need it? So what do I need to complete for this thing, though? What a reveal, uh, wait, what, uh, oh, what was the reveal for Into Light? Uh, they basically, Bungie had a whole, like, one hour live stream, like, talking about what's to come with the, uh, free update that we're getting on April 9th. That's gonna tide us over, I think, until May, and then that's the thing before the final shape, so, uh, they basically showed us this new game mode that they have called Onslaught, it's like a wave mode. Uh, basically, and like a horde-based kind of mode where like you fight a bunch of enemies and then um, the waves get progressively harder and harder and there's more rewards if you do harder modes and then there's like different difficulties where there's like a normal mode and then there's like a uh, like a hard mode kind of thing, like a legend mode um, that you can jump into as well. Match made, three-man activity, got some defenses that you can do. Like, it's really cool. Um, they talked a bit about it today. They, they have another live stream coming up uh next tuesday and then the tuesday after that a week before the um the into the light update actually launches which is free for everyone so uh they basically just went over the the game mode a bit today we got to watch some gameplay on it which is super neat looks fun uh next week we're going to learn more about like rewards and uh what we can expect and like what what's kind of involved with each thing so 
Uh, we'll be checking next week to see what is, uh, what's going to be going on with that. Oh, what a reveal it was. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Got you. I understand. Yeah, that was, it was a good reveal. I, I really liked it. That I wasn't expecting them to show a bunch of gameplay, so I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, overall, it was, uh, it, I liked it. I thought it was really, really nice, so... Definitely looking forward to seeing what the rewards are looking like once we can once the next live stream comes in. Um, but yeah, overall it was uh, it was good. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I don't normally do guardian games too much for like the points. Yeah, I mainly whenever I do it, it's mainly so it's mainly so that I can get like any of the new activities, rewards, or stuff, or armor things like that. Usually the uh, class versus class thing don't, doesn't matter Guardian, to me as much. My forces report that Shadow Legion units are shifting their attention to the Cloud Arc. That's likely why so the collector's edition box heavy. Um, not too bad. It's a very large box though. Um, but I, I wouldn't say it's not, not too too heavy. Definitely very large though. I'm very excited, chat. Um, I'm gonna try to do my unboxing video for you all. Big thank you again to Bungie. They sent me the Final Shape Collector's Edition early. Huge, huge thank you to them um, for sending me a copy of that. I've never had a Collector's Edition before. I've always wanted one. So really looking forward to uh, kind of unboxing that and showing it to you guys. Uh, it'll be a weird video for me because I've never done one like this, um, but I am looking forward to it. So I'll, Probably, I'm gonna try and have that out hopefully by tomorrow. Like I said, with I, I, I planned on working on the editing and everything else of the video, like after my hockey game on Sunday, like in like Monday, I was gonna work on it. But after I had my ankle injury and like I was in so much pain, I just I, I couldn't do much of anything. So um, hoping that I'll be able to. Uh, get it worked on a bit more today since I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better today and hopefully i can have it out for everyone by wednesday if not latest thursday for the uh for the unboxing video to show you guys what's inside the collector's edition and everything else what's the most dad gun in destiny 2 um it's a dad rifle i'm trying to think Xbox party. Not on Xbox. Well, I gotta figure out how to join them because um, I'm not on Xbox. Right, what was, what's a dad rifle though? But I would like you. I don't know. I honestly don't even know. But it, like, it wouldn't even be in a bad way too, because most of the ones are pretty fun. Sweet business. Yeah, I guess. But I like sweet business too. I'm a fan, especially if I'm on Titan. Sweet business on Titan is always a good time. We wear glo oh, gloves during the unboxing. Ah, uh, I don't know. That'd be kind of funny. Um, I don't know. If I have gloves, sure. If I don't, no. <laughs> I might do it just to keep everything very nice and neat. I don't want to bend anything. I don't want to accidentally drop anything. I don't want to smudge anything. Because I don't, I, I can't remember what the texture is of the, of the stuff that's inside. So, um, I might just keep everything very nice and tidy. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if I have any though. I do remember there was, uh, there is one like channel or something that does like that white glove like unboxing videos and stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, probably be an inspiration from that, honestly, <laughs> if there was any. Love this nightfall. It is pretty fun. I like the boss. Get cooked, Tormentor. I don't have the best loadout for this, but that's okay. I 
I gotta somehow join their Xbox party. Uh, I guess I could do it off the app. Well, actually, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm in the middle of a run. They just sound like tormentors, yeah. Your grandpa loves auto rifles. They're pretty fun. Join or band. Yeah, hold on. Okay. This is also the weekly right? fault. No, uh, corrupted's the weekly this week. Turn 40 this year with two kids? Dude, that's awesome, man. That's a big number. Happy early birthday. Yeah, I was about to say, boys, just, just, just cook him. I can't stand this guy, because... It's not really helping us. Oh, please. Thank you. Nope. Nope. There we go. Lost our teammate. There we go. The issue here is I don't have. I need like an LMG. Or something. I don't know. Something like that. Darn it. <laughs> he hit me with the press. We're on the same strike quick while we wait. Okay. Sorry, teammate, I left you out to drive for a second. Nah, I'll just hit him with the fusion. Fusion! Darn it. I'm booped. Oh, I thought I was booped off the map. I thought it was a goner. Is he finishable? Oh, he is. Gonna They got it. They're gonna have to hit him. They're gonna have to hit him. Nice. Okay, good. At least we got some heavy ammo back. That's good, because I was I spent like everything in that section. Oh, I'm glad it's fixed now, Knight. That's good. Full metal alchemist. Warlock speed looking like staying out there clicking fingers. Burning things? Uh I have not. I I've seen like I've seen like the show's name pop up for like my feed before, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's corrupted this week, which is I'm actually really happy about that because I like using Polaris in there. Um, creator, I post videos on Destiny. Didn't get the collector's edition of Final Shape from Bungie. Trying to know why I haven't. Um, you have to apply for it to it's um Bungie sent out to it out to certain creators. Um, I guess that are part of uh, are, that are Bungie creators, which was a thing that you had to apply for. I don't know if the application. Is still up and running or something but there was an application um that you could apply for and then if um you know i guess if bungie accepted and stuff uh you'd be a bungie creator and so they they basically sent out the collector's edition to certain um bungie creators that were a part of that program You. I appreciate my teammate not like burning through the ad right there. <laughs> Can't wait for final shapes. I'm really excited, dude, for like all the bosses and stuff, man, that are coming with it. 
the new like tormentor like versions that are coming and like other stuff seems really really cool uh this is not gonna work okay. you gotta take out the ads i gotta take out the little blocks here that have all the uh that are blocking all the damage Don't one shot him. But I say I need him for points. Drops like five thousand. This is honestly a part where you just farm everything. Well, let me keep my blight. Oh, I did. Damn. Top three favorite exotic weapons. Outbreak for sure. Um. Size outbreak. I wish they would let me keep my vehicle or my um, my thing. Uh, outbreak. Uh, Galahorn's up there. Galahorn's really fun. And then. It's so hard. There's so many good exotics in the game. There's so many fun ones. Um. Trying to think, what's another fun one that I really enjoy? Thinking more PVE for me, honestly, just because I play the game mode more. Um, man, I can't think of any. Anarchy's fun, but would I classify it like for me as like a top one? I don't know. Don't you just love doing stuff like this, chat? Wild times, huh? Conditional and tessellation. Yeah, that one's pretty fun. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. I know there's like, there's certain ones that I really like. Um, Anarchy is a really cool exotic, but yeah, Outbreak, G-Horn, and then maybe... I don't know. I like Merciless because of the charge-up thing. Merciless is always fun. You can get charged up on bosses, and it, it gets faster and faster and faster, and you see the damage. Um, I don't know. That's probably one of them. Um, my, my thing would probably change on it, though. Just one-shots him. Um... I'd probably have to look at some more exotics and I'd be like, oh, hey, that one's cool. To skip this part, apparently you can use the hoverboard instead of a sparrow. Uh, I didn't know I didn't know how far back I could use it on that sparrow section. Uh, I haven't seen the cheese for it personally, though. These blights are insane. Universal remote, that's a good one. Internet's bad this week. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, get, internet gets more stable. If it hasn't been like a constant issue, you know, and stuff. Hopefully, it gets better. Oh my goodness. I dived. <laughs> Tried to save. Pikus. Graptown Lance and Monte Carlo. Oh, all good ones right there, too. Very good choices. Sorry, fixing something quickly. Give me one second. I'm probably gonna get one shot again, but I need to fix something here. There we go. Yeah, every bus remote's nice. Chain reaction, bait and switch on the new sword, need relentless strike. Dude, that'd be sick. Is that break good in PvP? Uh it, it definitely it definitely does well there. Um I mean I, there might be some better options, but it definitely isn't like isn't bad by any means. It is very good. Oh, don't dodge. Don't dodge the rockets. I only have somebody.
Thank you. 9,000 is too good to pass up. Mm -mm. Thank you. 5,000. Glitch. Darn it, I couldn't do it. Throw a link to Destiny Creator. Um, I don't know if the form is still active. There was a form you'd fill out at one point. Uh, I don't know where it would be again, though. Let's get rid of that taken before it opens a path. I don't know if it's still active or not. That I'm unsure. I don't have the app. I don't. I don't have the uh, link to it on me though. Wish Ender's awesome too. Wish Ender's a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop this just because. Oh, I love it. Love it. I love when you make yourself ready and you just keep shooting through the shield. Wild. Didn't have to do much of anything on that one. That was great. I just need to make I just need to make space for us to actually be able to snag this. That was like really that was like really weird. I don't know why it like sent me off the map. That was strange. Here we go. Uh, I guess I'll just chuck it. I'm trying to be very careful when I do these finishers so that I don't... Darn it! I was gonna do another one. Oh, they already took him out. Never mind. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Sort of. Through the cradium. That works. I'll take it. See, that's not too bad. See, I'll take his cranium. He'll give me super. Yeah, tessellation, though. That's a funny exotic. It's a good choice. Oh, good soup. Um, spawn them again, don't they? Yeah. I'm about to say, don't they spawn again here soon? Emote finisher. See, we're making great points right here. The lovely part about it. I was say, I need my teammate to hit one of those on the side, dude. There's a lot of them. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm bad. I tried. Poor runner's growing me on, the, on me again, though. It is good. No, you're no, that's yeah. You're totally fine to ask about it, Zach. Uh, I can try to see if I can find the link to it. Like I said, I don't, I don't know if the forum is still like active. Like if it, if it's if they're still like adding people to it or not. Um, but I, I can try to find it though.
Not doing that again. I'm about to shoot. I'm about to just fire the rockets here. Just ammo dump it. Cooked. Nice. GG's. Good score. Give me some cores. Nice. Tier 3 reward package. Beautiful. Nice. I'll take a core any day of the week. Thanks, guys. GG's. I love your armor. It looks sick. All right. Yeah, let me see. I don't know if I... Uh, it would be on Bungie.net, I think. Jeez, fellas. Yeah, let me see. Um, All right, I found it. Um, go to this, and here you can you can fill it out. So Zach, click this link, and it'll take you to it. Okay, and you just fill that out, and then that's basically it. Doesn't mean you're gonna get, you know, doesn't mean there's any automatic acceptance or anything like that. It's a form you can fill out though if you'd like to uh, become one though. Bunch you'll, I'm sure, take a look at it and um, you might hear back from them then, I believe. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Uh, let me see if Easy and those guys are ready. Okay. I'm gonna join them now. I did tell them after I was done with that run, we, we were split, we're gonna do the, uh, Nightfall here together, so we're gonna run the GM here. All right, so I got that. That. Uh, what did I bring in this? I'm sure, I was, I was trying to remember. I'm like, what the heck did I even bring in this nightfall? I guess I could do. Um, I guess I could do the fusion again. That would be kind of fun. Or the um, wait. Uh, the blinding shield. Boom, boom, boom. I want to go claim all these rewards, but I gotta be careful because I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. Got a lot of got a lot of rolls here. Let me see if I can join them in their Xbox party thing. Is that your first ever collector's edition? Yes, I've never had a collector's edition ever, especially, yeah, definitely. I've never had one for uh, Destiny 2, but I've always wanted one, so. Um, I'm very, very grateful uh, to Bungie for, for sending that over to me. It was very kind. Gold medal, clutch. Clutch or kick. Clutched. Shoot. Not a lot of rewards. I never thought you to support. Welcome back. Bolt shot and chain reaction. I like that one. Goodbye. What does handle mean? Like you're at or like what's what's the question? Sorry, I forgot I gotta fill out the... Um, yeah, your handle is just like, what's your, what's your, uh... What's your at for like, you know, YouTube, Twitch, whatever.
what's your content creator name, I would say. That's what I filled it out as. So if like for me it was just Vegeta Space Plays. Where they find you. Alright, there's one, two. Let's not fill up our zones. Sick. Love it. What was that? Volt shot and what? One for all. That could be better. I just want the course. And then this one. Boom. Three of them. Impulse of one for all. No. I honestly don't know. I, I think. Nah. We can get a better roll than that. That's pretty good though. That's a lot of cores for me. Well, I thought, I thought Hunters won both weeks, if I remember right. I thought they won both weeks. Full shot and collective action. I think you can get it within this, can't you? I thought they, I think they're in different slots, if I remember. Four times an Encore. Yeah. Four times, ooh, four times Explosive with Flared Magwell. Sheesh. That's not bad. I'll keep that one. Yeah, I thought there I had one in here with collective and that. Maybe I'm wrong. Thought I did at one point though. I don't know why I keep some of the rolls that I do. I'll be honest. <laughs> Is this Titan one sweet too? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe they'll win that. I'm curious who will win it all. Probably be pretty close. Do you think Bunchy will ever give us another name change? Um, probably. At some point. I don't know when, though. I feel like they'll get one at some point. Um, so my Twitch name is a handle. Uh, yeah, I guess wherever they can find you on most places. Whatever your name would be for it. Whatever your, your she said creator she name is. To express herself, so... Let me see how can how can I get them on? I know I could like just do the Xbox app thing here, but I don't have I don't have that. Um, I guess I just have to do it off my phone. Hold up, chat. Give me one second. I gotta grab I gotta grab some different earbuds. So give me just one second. Eververse trades in goods we feel enhance a guardian's journey. I never thought I'd live to see the darkness return. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to hobble over on my one foot to try to grab some earbuds. It should be good now. Let me try and get that Xbox app pulled up. It's weird. I have two separate earbuds in right now. There we go. You guys should be able to hear me, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Uh, you can launch it up whenever I'm, I'm set. What? Oh, okay. Um, sure. Just give me a second. Oh, what Zenotaph do I have? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that works. Okay, yeah, you, you're good. Whatever. 
Oh, true. Um, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to run Div. I want to run Polaris. Yeah, here, I got in Scissor with something. All right, let me swap this over one second. Uh, I got target lock on one. Let me just look up strand. Um... I looked up strand, but it, it's not it. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait, does it come up? Um, what do you guys think? I got killing tally and envious assassin on one or should I do target lock? Okay. I'll bring this one over. All right, I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Isn't I just have to like hit them with it a couple times and then they'll uh, then you guys just have to do hit kill it or whatever. Okay. What perfect timing, chat. Honestly, what perfect timing. We got everything on right in time. Perfect. Yo, what's good, Prof? How you doing today? Good to see you. Hello, hello. How's it going? Hopefully I get a good sword roll here, chat. That'd be great. I hope I can get one. We're gonna try to. Got cold steel and plug list on the slammer. Yeah, what is... Don't we want, like... What's the specific thing we want again? We're approaching the temple, Petra. Copy that. Standing by. Ah, it's fine. I'm coming over. I don't know why I went through that way though, but I shouldn't have followed you. You have Invis. I was like, I don't. <laughs> Go ahead, join in a few. Right now, um, I'm just running with Easy and Fury. They had asked me, they had asked me before stream if if they if we uh, if they wanted me to run with them, and so I, I told them I'd play with them and farm with them for a little bit. So I'm gonna be with them for a bit. We'll see after I run with them if there's some time, maybe we can do something. With chat. If not, I'll be running probably some this weekend with. And, uh, well, I'll probably do a stream this weekend with people from stream to like jump in and stuff and play. We're heading inside now. Good. Descend to the heart of the temple. You're looking for one of the queen's techians. Tech witches, you guardians call them. Her name is Sadia. She was taken, but she can be saved. She will try to kill you. Much as you might like to do the same, you must spare her. Gotta love that tether, chat. Oh, there he is. Huge. Okay, I don't know how I went 50 feet into a wall, chat. <laughs> Relentless and bait and switch? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be on the lookout. It's pretty nice. It's got a, it's got a really nice, um... It's got a really nice, like, perk set up on it, which is cool. Yeah, I appreciate you hopping in, Marsh. Hope everything's been going well. Thank you for taking time. Stop in and hang out with us for a bit today.
All right, if I can just stay alive the rest of the run, we're chilling. I'm not used to running uh, Zenotaph for most of this. It's very weird. It's not. It's not a, a loadout I, I normally run too often. Uh, do you have me later about some stuff for streaming? Yeah, no worries. Sounds good. Thanks again for hanging out, Kermit. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and have an awesome uh, day tomorrow as well. Thanks for chilling. Just me standing over here, just dunking the orbs. I'm gonna say, I feel like we had enough. Oh shoot, well then. I forgot, I don't get a longer reach. I was trying to tag him, but I wasn't sure if it worked. Okay, I'll take the one on the left. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I hit him. Tag, yep, go. I hit him. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you got him. I hit the wall instead. Uh, I tagged the one dude with the shield. I'll do the one that's rushing us. Last one. He's tagged. Beautiful. Very easy. Very easy. He's marked. Like, but yeah, it's fine. You guys should have plenty of ammo. Where all the knights just like disappeared, it feels like. He's marked. It's freezing today, right? It was so weird. I was really, uh, it was really cold. I'm sorry, really warm the other day. And then, yeah, isn't it like freezing cold or whatever today? Weather is just. So awkward. <laughs> it's so strange. Oh shoot, we got the other champ rushing us. Okay, I'm so glad I actually had the radiant thing to be able to shoot through that shield. Yes. I should be able to target the next one. Is he gonna open up? There we go. They should have that target locked. There you go. They had it with like one second, so I was like, yeah, oh, they're fine. Trying to make sure I don't go off like the map in this at the same time. Hot yesterday, cold today, yeah. 
I, I've been enjoying like it's like 60 whatever degrees or whatever whatever have you. It's it's like you know it's not bad. Frying the internet connection. Oh okay. Yeah, that definitely stinks. Hopefully, it's more consistent soon. Yeah, he's like so he's sitting like right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's where did he go? He was middle. Where <laughs> the heck did he go? Oh, okay. Oh, we're about to... Oh, shoot. That's fine. Uh, um, I mean, you'll, you'll be back in the area. That's okay. It's very dry in my area. Uh, yeah, that definitely... That definitely makes it worse. I'm in like the worst spot for my res. I'm so cooked. I am so cooked. Huge spot, huge spot. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to swap. There you go, he's targeted, you can get him. No, you got it, seven seconds, you got time. Yeah, you got it, huge. I tagged one that's like right on the boss. <laughs> Take him, okay. Yeah, I'm doing this just because I don't want to get smelted. That's cool. Very nice. Yep. Uh, he was? That's weird. Are they? Uh, are they? Are they middle again? True. Good point. Chill up here for a second. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. Tagged. First one's tagged. Okay. Uh, second one. Tagged. Burn it. Yeah. Easy. Should we just melt him? He's really low. Okay. You're good. Go. Huge. Very nice. Let's try that teleporter. It's done. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully you do. That'd be great. Oh, I'll mark this guy, I guess. As ridiculous as the other one is right now, this guy's the closer of the two, so. He's marked. There you go. That's all their ammo, so they're chilling. Late spring, early summer, and early fall are the only times to get a break from the frying temperatures and freezing. Oh, no. That definitely stinks. He can finish that one. Because if I, if I hit it, it's not going to give him ammo.
Where'd the dude go? Oh, there he is. Trying to shoot past his shield for a second. There we go. I was like, I just need him. I need him to move for a second. Help us out a little bit. They got it. Streams in slow motion or my reaction time? I could be my reaction time. I'm still a little tired <laughs> from the lack of sleep I've had the last couple of days. It could be that, honestly. Looks at least good on my end. At least from what I can see. Sounds good, Zach. Thanks so much for coming by and hanging out today. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and have an awesome day tomorrow as well, man. Thanks for chilling. Jump down here, chat. Oh, that was tricky. Saved it. I don't know what was going on there, though. That was wild. That was absolutely nuts. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's falling off the map. They're gonna have to. I'm about to say I remarked him, but yeah, I have to hit him one more time. There we go. No, the engram. No. <laughs> I tried to save it. I tried my best. Into the Wi-Fi instead. It might be pretty reliable. No, it'll pull. Where? Where are you? Wait, where? Yeah, no. Fury should be able to heat rise it. That's what I. Oh, you don't have it on. What a warlock, dude. Nah, just pull me up boss, it'll be fine. Mm, mm no, it should put no it'll it'll put me at, it'll put me at the it should put me at the foot where we usually stand. I'm about to say yeah, you guys should be fine. I feel like I've been making all the <laughs> all the little herbs. We got the viewing party on right now, chat, until we can actually <laughs> get revived. They should be fine, though. They have a lot of, um... They have a lot of stuff. They have enough ammo and stuff. Should be okay.
Looking solid, chat. They should be able to get my revive and we should be fine. Hopefully. As long as my res spawns in a decent spot, we should be okay. Alright, let's see where they see where they put me. It should be back here. Yeah. There she is. Let's bring her back to the light. Oh, right in front of you. Oh, perfect. See, I knew it was going to work out. Oh, shoot. Well, there should burn out. Well, I started running backwards, but I was like, no, that, 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 that'll melt them all. That'll be fun. D1, I remember mass raids, if you died, you were out, even if you're, uh, oh yeah, you were out, even your teammates couldn't revive you? Yeah, you used to not be able to, it was kind of nuts. What am I? Okay. Got it. Okay. Cool. You got 13 seconds on yours. Yeah, that's fine. What are you running, Phoenix? Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Should be okay, I think. Here, I'm. I'm right here. You can do it now. All right, whatever. Okay, go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's on the move. I see. Invis first. Good good idea. Mm-hmm. Short, that's okay. Knight's got no shield now. I got target locked on the uh, overload. Yeah, hit a couple explosions by him, he'll be good. You're good. through the shield, darn it. Nice. This and this one. I'll hit, I'll hit the uh, mark again on the unstop. We should be good. Oh, I almost got picked off. Nice. All right, you guys should be full, so. I don't know why it's doing it, why what's happening with it. 
was causing it. Target lock. She's looking at me. Target lock. Ah, it's fine. GG. GG, easy. Oh, software update. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad you, you knew the reason it was being slowing down. Or it was slowing down so much. That's good. <laughs> Seems like I got no rockets. <laughs> Ooh, nice. She will find a way to take me again, please. please end it. Ooh, I got cold. I got relentless strike and cold steel. When I got balance guard or heavy guard. It's it's better, yeah. Is it what was it again? It was relentless strike and what was it? Oh okay. Oh, can you guys give me like whatever one I need for that thing? I think it's Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm really close to that. I need like, I just need a little more of those. Done a GM before, but not a master for some reason. Yeah, I didn't. The only reason I really farm like, ma like nowadays, well, like for me, like when I farm masters, mainly it's just for, um, it's just like if I don't have like the normal version of like this weapon, like I'll go in, I'll do like one run, hopefully get it on master first try and then be like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm all set for a while. Because yeah, it's, if, you, if you can get the adepts, I mean, it, it is a lot better. Adept big one spec and everything else is good. I don't I think it's cool. It reminds me if you guys ever played balloon tower defense It reminded me of that with like the whole like waves and like the being able to set like different defenses If you had a certain like part of the currency or whatever Um, I mean it seems cool like the wave base thing. I'm curious like when they tell us next week like what the rewards look like Like what exactly we're getting like how how much better are the rewards looking for like that hard mode versus The uh, the easy one because the normal mode um but yeah, I'm curious. Because they stopped, like, right before he said that they get really crazy on 40 and 50s. He got... He stopped at, like, level, like, 34, so... I'm, I'm curious what it's, what it's going to look like, though. Mm hmm Yeah, and then you start to get extinguished going at 30 and everything else. But I mean, if the reward system's cool, like I'm, I'm always down, down for it. We haven't really had something Maybe like that where it goes it. that high in terms of the level and stuff. He's pretty weak, that overload. We got, uh, well, we got the one dude that was here. I don't, I don't see the other one. Oh, okay. I haven't done GM in a while since season 18. Oh, gotcha. This one's really good to do this week if if you get the chance. This one's really easy to farm. Got a couple Polaris's and stuff. It's pretty fun. Good roll, Sean. Yeah, that was that was, their, that was my first one. It's not yeah, definitely not bad.
sick. Try to drift it. I love doing this in, when we did the weekly strike this week. I'm trying to boost it now. This is an elevator. Clear the room. I'll go straight through. No, no. Ugh, he's turning the wrong. He's turning the wrong way. There we go. Zoom in. Sick. Oh sheesh. It didn't take me through the portal weird enough. I don't know why. It was so strange. It like had me like going through, but I went to like the taken area. That should be enough. That's four. Oh, okay. There you go. Break their shields. Shoot. Here, I got one right here. Just take it. Oh, come on. It hit the corner. I didn't try. Oh, sheesh. I'm one shot though. There. He's targeted too. I know. I really like it, dude. It's really fun. It's so good. Yeah. Sunshot, I think, would, still, would be more usable here than, like, than Polaris would be, I think. I think I broke all of them, didn't I? This one right here is target locked. Where's the other one? Oh, okay. Well, I got the one target lock that's like a third a half. Hopefully. I hit the finish. There you go. And then this one's... Let me take him. Nice. Now we're chilling. Only got two depths in D2. Mindbenders in the Trial Strand GL. Oh, those are two good weapons to have as the depths, though. Those are good. Master Race since D1 Wrath. Oh, okay. D1 Wrath was a pretty fun one. I'd love to have Wrath in D2. Can they not? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I would say like if, if you were to do one, like this week would be pretty good. Um, just because Corrupted's a really nice like farming one. Um, and, and the uh, the Adept, this new sword is is pretty good too. There's some really nice like perks you can get on it. So. Brutal. Just getting cooked. If I have Adept D1 weapons. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'd love if they brought Ra Wrath back. I was almost, I was hoping they were going to do it with this, like, April update. I was really hoping they were going to. This would be the one D1 raid we didn't have. Because I knew the update was, like, free for everyone, too. So I was like, oh, that'd be, that'd be perfect. Lovely. Target locked. I 
Okay, now we can target lock this guy, which is good. Oh, can in a second. Darn it. I couldn't get back around the corner in time. You guys should be fine, though. I believe in you. He would, isn't he like one shot? He would go away at that time. Yeah. Solid. Huge. Get it, get it. Hopefully that unstop just shows up right in the middle. And cook him. There he is, there he is. Go, go, go. Yeah, nice jump. I'm about to say boss if you want. Yeah, one second. Come on. <laughs> Dwindle him down. Target. You got him, sit him for Yeah, there you go. Huge. Uh, thinking about it, every D1 raid had a hand cannon. Uh, yeah, they they did, I believe, yeah. Got the Crota hand cannon, the Pulse, the Wrath Pulse, hand cannon, and auto. Nice, those are all good. Those are pretty good. Favorite sword? Mine's been the Strand one from season 21. That one's nice. Um, favorite sword? I'm not sure, honestly. My favorite sword. There's a lot of fun ones. Black Talon's pretty cool. Huge. I just gotta get this guy and we're chilling. Nicely done. Chain reaction on the sword. Nice. Yeah, that was a good roll. I didn't have the other, I had the other one target locked, not the one they were firing at. It's okay then. Huge finisher. Got that, so that's good. Warlord's Ruin. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's got a couple nice little traits and stuff on it. Man, they got cooked. I oh, use target lock. Just trying to target lock. There we go. I was like, I'm trying to target lock the guy, but he's like, he's got such a weird spot, too. They got him. I don't want to hit him too much, because he won't finish it. There you go. So I don't have it. Hopefully we'll get to drop soon. Quickly reset means, you know, you get a couple extra chances as well, so that's good. 
at least. More chances to try to get to drop. Can't remember if they said they got that other side or they did not. Oh, they already did. Okay, good. I have to go back and run through Warlords again at some point. I think Ghost of the Deep as well. I'm missing like two or three pieces. Something like that. Armor wise. I definitely want to get the Ghost of the Deep done because that armor is super cool. Especially, I was talking about it earlier with the photo finish shader on it as well. It's, it's, it's hard not to want to get it. Got it. Sick. Just was facing the opposite way. Sent the exotic. Oh, got you. Yeah, the exotic. Oh, wait. Do I have the... I think the exotic actually from that one is the last catalyst I need. I have the catalyst, but I'm at like 50% or whatever it is. I was about to say, they should be pretty close. Luminous Void Shader. Is that the one I have on currently? Yeah. That's a great shader. So good. Well, hey, we know if I do, you know, you guys can just go pick me up again. You've been burning through it? I made you a lot. We'll get some off the overload, especially. Oh. Oh, I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's target locked. You got him. Ooh, well, I was. <laughs> I was trying to Phoenix die, but I wouldn't let me do it. What's good, Traxxas? How are you doing today, man? How's it going? Yeah, but I say you got two. Should bring back Crimson Days, those uh, shaders for fire. They were. It'd be fun to have that back. I think a lot of people really enjoyed Crimson Days. Huge. Okay, I got him enough. That's good. Not bad. Definitely not ready for work. Just grinding for the new sword. Oh, gotcha. Do you get any uh, good rolls? Anything decent? Got a got a pretty good first drop, but that was about it. We're gonna see if I can get another one here. There she is. Let's bring her back to the light. I don't have a lot of rocket ammo though, sadly. Ooh, prime engram, huge. I think it was cut. Yeah, like all the Polaris. Yeah, all the Polaris chain was going crazy. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know why it like hit you. That was weird. We won't even let him get over, bro. Uh. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. 
There's not too many of them. Yeah, we're good. No, there's not too many, bro. We're good. We, Polaris, dude, you saw what happened. Two seconds. That's all. That's all they. Well, that's all we need for these guys. Oh yeah, we're fine. As long as they don't start multiplying, we're fine. I think we got all the multipliers, though. Yeah. Oh, there's one right in front of us, too. Okay, we just got the middle one. There we go. We're fine. Easy peasy. What's good, Inevitable? How you doing today, man? How's it going? Oh, I haven't lots it yet. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Got plenty of time to farm, though, so... Lots of time. Hopefully, we can get a good roll this week. Bringing back SRL. I think they are. I think it would be cool if we got it back. It's a fun mode. I almost want it to be limited, though. Like, where it's only around, like... During, um... Like, Guardian Games or, like... Uh, Festival of the Lost or things like that. I think it should be only around then because I think it makes it much more special when it is around. That way... We don't have it all the time, so when it is around, it feels a lot more inviting to play, and it, it makes it, uh, makes it, I feel like, because of the rarity of it, it's just a lot more fun. Yeah, after work, definitely gonna grind. Nice, let's go. You have to let me know how the grind goes for it. On spring break this week. I'm gonna destroy the time off. That should be fun. There we go. Perfect. Good. I was trying to find your stream on the end of the light reveal stream. We couldn't find it. Did you not stream it? Uh, we did. We uh, it was kind of it's all this stream. So we we did the whole hour here on YouTube. Um, we watched the stream here, talked about it a little bit, and uh, was watching was watching it be revealed and stuff. And then I just went straight from that, and I just went right into um, D2 from here from this stream. Hoping he was gonna do the little jump thing there on me. Ah, it's fine. It actually it still dropped, it looked like. My my special bricks glowing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got four. Yeah, it should be fine. Mm-hmm. That works. I wish you could just like shred her from there, that'd be great. I got you. Yeah, you can you can throw it to me if you want. Or yeah, actually. Oh, okay. That was that was awesome. I saw that. That was great. Nice GG, easy. Save an extra three minutes that run. And one rocket left. It's perfect. We can hit her right when she pops the shield because she won't move. Come on, good rewards, good rewards. Please. Nice exotic engram and uh. What I get on this one?
Uh, I got... I got Thresh or Puglist, and then one for all. That is not it. That's bad. That's a, that's a skip. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me give it to you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's definitely fast. Just stinks I can't get a good roll. Yeah, it used to take forever, and I'd be like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> was it a good roll? I think it was, like, relentless and, like, I don't know. Bait and switch isn't bad. Separately from, like, GG, Solstice, Donnie, like, its own thing. Oh, that'd be cool, too, yeah. If it was just, like, to like totally separate from even everything, too. That would work. Well, what's up? Tired. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. How's it going? What's been going on so far? Uh, we have the Into the Light reveal stream. Uh, and right now, we're just, uh, we're running through the Corrupted right now because the new sword is available this week. So we're working on the, trying to get a good roll on the Slammer, um, the Slammer, uh, sword at the moment. See, there's the one in the middle. What setup do you run D2 on? Uh, well, at the moment I have um, my PC. Um, we're doing streaming and gaming on. If you type exclamation point specs, it'll have all my specs. But I'm running... Uh, my uh the game off of my uh 1440p monitor and then you guys chat and stuff's so on like my 1080p one Ooh, huge nade darn it i just missed it it's like falling guillotine yeah but with better traits and it and it's adept which is great Ooh, both the overloads are here, it's weird. There you go. Hmm? Bro was one shot off the rip. That was weird. Yeah, Stasis Vortex Sword, which is really cool. You can get Cold Steel, I believe. Yeah, that's the one roll I got. So I got I got Relentless and Cold Steel, which isn't bad. Um So yeah, not too bad. Yeah, you could focus some rolls too, that's true. If you have those Nightfall ciphers, right? You could always march through the in-game LFG. Those, they're usually pretty reliable. Like, if you make your own post, you can kind of, like, create it to, like, the way you would like to have it. And, like, inspect the Guardians before you would, like, accept them if you do, like, an application thing. Um, that's what I would highly recommend. That one's, like, really, really useful. I usually do that one. Recently, I've been doing that this since the in-game LFG is available now. I've been doing that for... GM runs and things like that. So it's been pretty helpful. How do you get four rounds in Apex? Uh, I'll show you. Pretty easy. All you gotta do is just throw on, uh, I believe it's, well, bipod and reconstruction. Do it. So if you have those, it, it allows for four, which is really nice for like ammo dumping. It didn't count. <laughs> I don't know how I missed. I'm not gonna say that one was my. Huge. Hiding Easter eggs early. Yeah, I'm just I'm just camping them out here. It's great. 
I don't have a nade. If I had a nade, I'd help him. I don't have a nade, though. Dude, I don't understand. It literally gets the other one one shot. <laughs> I don't understand how that works. It was, it, I was trying to just tap it, but yeah, he was so low. It was tough. That's fine. We can get, I can get this unstopped, so. Stun him and, yeah, he's already, he's already lit, so. He's re-tagged. Oh, you got him. There you go. Favorite weapon of each element? My favorite type, like auto rifles, stuff like that. Or like just weapon specific. Yeah, so actually, yeah. Uh, inevitable, I got you. Here's the, uh, here's what I'm currently running. And it does pretty, it does a pretty good job. The 40 series are really nice right now though. Oh, like kinetic and everything else. Um, uh, changes. It, it really it varies so much. Um, it's so hard. I'd probably like to say outbreak in the kinetic slot. Secondary. I'm trying not to choose just all exotics. Uh, one of my all-time favorites is, like, Recluse. But I, I guess that's not spe that's, you know, special, I guess. Oh, so, oh, like, oh, I see, I see, I see. You, you want, like, Strand and stuff. Yeah, I guess... Um... I'd have to think about it. I think Galahorn probably for Solar. Stasis... Like for stasis. There was one weapon I really liked for stasis, but I can't remember what it was. It was heavy. It might have been a heavy one. Oh, I liked Winter Bite for heavy. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, void. All right, Graviton or Recluse or something. And then Strand. I like um. I like that one Strand thing. I can't remember the name of it. The. Uh, like trace right the tra the strand trace rifle not in scissor um the exotic one uh navigator is pretty cool and then what what's the other one arc um i enjoy a good risk runner man risk runner is pretty fun if you can get the chain lightning going or anarchy those two are pretty cool Recently got the dare shotgun craftable. Nice, congratulations. My favorite either solo builds or arc builds. Nice, that's awesome. I would have kept firing at him, but I know that. The stasis trace too. Oh yeah, there is aggro scepter. Yeah, you're right. I'm 
This un stops putting in work on us. There you go. He was literally behind us. I was like, wait, where the heck is this guy? I just want to try to get him out of the way so my teammate... Necrochasm conditional. That's so good. Rufus Fury. That's a fun one to get out of. Dragons. Delicate Tomb. Lastly, Ruinous Effigy. All good choices. Those are really nice. They're very nice weapons. To say I can get the revive at least. Tessellations of very uh, good second favorite. Tessellations, nice too. Yeah. Thinking of upgrading my PC to a Ryzen 7 5700G and an RTX 3050 to a Ryzen 7 5800X, but I'm split because um, oh sorry with well, I should go with 4070 or 70. Uh, I don't know. I've never really tried like AMD's GPUs. Too much i can't really say too much on that but i definitely know the the 40 the 40 series have been pretty nice for a lot of people i know a lot of people have been enjoying this Have old Sterling with rewind rounds and hatchling. Oh yeah, the uh, the strand auto, right? Yeah, that thing cooks. Great. Sweet, thank you. I was about to say, he's just aggressive pushing me right now, so. <laughs> What's good, Lucian? How are you doing today, man? Eight gigs of VRAM is just not enough anymore. Yeah. Things are getting a bit demanding. For sure. Especially if you're trying to run multiple things at the same time. He's marked. Easy should have him. How do you do, Wallution? I'm good, man. I'm good. Just running to the GM with Easy and Fury right now. See if we get a decent roll on the uh, that new sword that's out this week. Imperative. With uh, kinetic tremors, ooh, I do enjoy. I really like that perk. That one's pretty cool. Good luck, thanks, man. Yeah, it's our third run, so it's been going pretty well so far. Pretty nice farming uh, nightfall this week, I'd say.
There she is. Let's bring her back to the light. DSC's farmable this week? It is, it is. Yeah, definitely jump in there. If you're missing any of the DC DSC weapons, it's a really good week to farm everything. They couldn't even get off the platform. Oh man. Watch yourself. They are so cooked. You gotta stop flinching me for a second. See if I can get this. Do you know where Zer's new location is? Uh, no, because he leaves on Tuesday. So we'll know come Friday though, easy. Well, don't come Friday, though. Hope your Tuesday's been going great so far, though. Got some heavy, that's good. Yeah, of course, easy. No problem. Precision instrument. Yeah, I'm curious what the... Um what the percentage differences are on the damage and stuff. I was too eager. I was ready to go. I was like, I'm going to run it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, a lot of, lot of different perks, though, definitely. armor on all my characters oh that stinks hopefully hopefully yeah it's farmable this week i'm hoping you get some good loot it's the worst especially when you're like dude all i need is armor just please just armor oh, i i was gonna finish him but i know you guys want to have you that's why i stopped What's up, Johnson? How are you doing today, man? How's it going? Ah, oh, thanks for the revive. There you go. Take him, take him. I got five heavy, so I should be okay. He's gone. I mean, for Succession or Heritage, nice. Yeah, those are two good ones. Big fan of uh, Heritage, especially. Succession was really is really good too, but we also have a couple. We have a couple of contenders in the primary slot now with like supremacy and stuff being craftable. Very good weapon though. Unintentional, but it's okay. Unintentional. Ever since the March update, I've been using Prosecutor plus Conditional and Bacchus for PvP. Ooh, good loadout. 
I still need to try to get some of the uh, prophecy weapons. It's the rework. Definitely need to do that. Nice little engram. Oh, well, I already have full rewards. Hopefully my postmaster isn't completely full. Keep away and tap the trigger. Ooh, good roll. That's really nice. Yeah, I definitely would want tap the... No, I definitely would want target lock for sure. Or, sorry, keep away for sure. I think you can get target lock on that one too. I can't remember. I just know I want to keep it off SMGs, but other weapons, it's still so good. Time to ammo dump. She doesn't move. She's just gonna keep moving like 50 feet. <laughs> and she's so like focused on me. I don't like this. GG's. Nicely done. Hopefully we get a good roll, chat. Good rolls, please. Make sure I have space. Relentless bait and switch. I'm happy. Thank you. I didn't even get cores on that one, even though we got plat. I just got one the sword and an engram and a metal. Oh, there we go. Bait and switch. Oh, dude. it was bait and switch and then chain reaction or attrition orbs. Shoot. And it's got jagged edge, too. Yeah, I'll keep the cold steel and relentless, too. Those aren't bad. I definitely need to farm for relentless and uh, bait and switch, though. That'd be perfect. Third, I can get Zen as well. Oh, Zen be good. All right, chat. All right, all right. I think I'm probably gonna wrap it up there for today, chat. My my foot's getting a little, it's getting a little heavy, and I need to go. I need to go elevate it and um, stay off of it for a little bit. It's been sitting on the floor a little, a little too long, so I need to, <laughs> I need to go rest a little bit. But thank you guys so much for an amazing stream today. It was so much fun getting to vibe and hang out with everyone. I appreciate y'all jumping in and chilling. Um, it's great. We were able to get a lot of uh, stuff done today. We're gonna watch the new. Into the Light live stream will reveal. That was awesome getting to see the new Onslaught activity that we're coming, new wave mode. So that was pretty cool. Then we got into uh, weekly reset things, looking pretty good. And we got the couple GM runs in, got some decent rolls. We at least got a bait and switch and a relentless strike roll. So hopefully we can get both on one uh, would be fantastic. But thank you guys for all the love as always. Appreciate all the uh, likes. Thank you for 31 likes on today's stream and all the new subs as well. I really do appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can work on our unboxing video of the Final Shape uh, Collector's Edition that Bungie sent us. I'm going to try to do that today. Uh, I definitely need to get make sure I keep getting more rest, but I'm going to try to do that. Hopefully, I'll try to have that out for you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll definitely try to have that out Thursday uh, for the unboxing video for us. Um, hopefully, stream tomorrow in the afternoon. I don't know what we'll do. We might do some Nightfall runs. I do have some more Guardian game stuff to do as well and we have that gambit thing i wanted to do so either tomorrow on twitch we'll probably do either probably around 1 or 2 p.m eastern probably guardian games gambit or i'm going to run some nightfalls we'll see i'll see how i'm feeling tomorrow and like what i want to do but if you guys aren't following the twitch there's a link right there in chat if you guys like to follow um thursday there might be a stream i gotta see uh i do have an announcement probably today or tomorrow i've got a post as well for you guys too uh, which is really exciting. And then um, Friday here, we'll do Xur and Trials. And then 
we'll see how the weekend looks. I'm not sure how Saturday, Sunday, Monday is looking at the moment. Uh, like I said, I do have my x-ray on Thursday, so I'm not too sure. If we do stream, it'd be in the morning, but I'll try to let you guys know. But hopefully stream in the afternoon tomorrow, and then we'll we'll try to see how the week looks after I you know have some more stuff planned out. Um, but if uh, the video for the unboxing will probably, I'll try to have that out around 1 Eastern, either tomorrow, if I can get it done today, or Thursday. So, so that's kind of the, the, I just want to give you guys a little timeline for the week. But once again, thank you guys for the love as always. I hope everyone has an amazing, amazing rest of their Tuesday and an awesome day tomorrow as well and a great week. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Peace.